Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I apologize my flying carpet have uh, flat tire and <laughs> I mean I was trying to fix it and I forgot I don't have tire for the flying carpet so <laughs> I mean like you know I'm not used to flying carpet to be honest with you. It's my grandfather he used to use it. My dad he used to drive it. He never allowed me to drive it because uh, I don't know I, I think he was uh, <laughs> you know he don't trust me you know. He was afraid he will go maybe uh, to uh, a city. It's called the Zal Vegas. Zal Vegas. They do their gambling, you know. So you know he did not give me the you know. He said my son is like is not a good boy. Uh, you know your boy, your boy is finished. Hmm. So he said uh, you know I'm not going to give him the code for the flying carpet. So I'll... anyway. Uh, with the, the technical technic, technical issue is uh, fixed by by the will of Allah. Now, you see, Muslims they pose for us things, and supposedly those things are going to be like will make us suspect our faith. And today I'm going to show you some examples before we go and start uh, driving in the highway. This is one of them. Let us see this guy. <clears throat> This is from the text yesterday. Actually, I removed his text because he started calling Jesus very filthy names. And this is what Muslims do when they go crazy. So look at this. God have multiple personality syndrome. Sometime God, sometime human, sometime ghost. You idiot. Who said that we Christians believe that he sometime is God, sometime is a human, and sometime is a ghost? Uh, you know, let me tell you, sometime you are a sperm, sometime you are an egg, and sometime you became a full idiot. Because none of this is what we Christians believe in. The one who have a syndrome is you, idiot of the village. God that got baptized by a human for whipping out original sin that he created. Who said to you, you idiot, that baptism will whip out the original sin? Donkey, idiot, stupid. Where you get this is from? You see that. So they try to create things. It's not what we have. It's not what we believe. It just they don't know what to do. I remember once a Muslim. He's a good guy actually. Like this, this, uh, this Muslim. He's a good guy. But you know, he came to me and he said, "I want to tell you something, and I'm afraid." I said, "Why are you afraid?" Is that I know you? Hmm? You will get angry. You might do something to me. I said, why? 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 why you, what you did? He said, promise me you will do nothing. I will tell you. I promise him. He said to me, the teacher taught us that Christians, when they get married, the priest have to sleep with their wives. Imagine, guys, the filthy Islamic teacher in the school teaching Muslims in their religious school that Christians before they get married, like after you go to the church, you do the ceremony, and then now your wife, she have to sleep with the priest. That's what they told him. And this is exactly the faith of Muhammad. It's based on falsehood, false teaching about Christianity, false statement, and why I am not surprised. I mean, false prophet, false followers, so why not? God that prayed to another God at time of distress. Uh -huh. God, he prayed to other God. Where in, where, where in the Bible it says God, he prayed to other God. You mean Jesus speaking to the Father? Well, you idiot, we believe that there is a Father and there is a Son. It's two different person. Idiot. But here we have to ask you how Allah, he prayed for Muhammad. Do you Muslim believe in different person or one person? You see, we Christians, we believe it. And you, you, the funny, he called himself a trinity is paganism. So you know what trinity is, you idiot. You just said trinity. Trinity. So how Allah, he prayed for Muhammad. Allah is praying for who? We continue. God that killed a human and dead, killed by a human and dead. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, we missed, we missed one. Okay. God cursed another God for seeking him. Where, where it says God cursed another God? Where is this guy talking about? Anyone knows? Do you see the filthy liars?
what he's talking about? We don't know. Look like this guy, he have a different book. In Krishati, God, he cursed another God. How we can do that if we believe in one God, you idiot? God that killed by a human and dead for three days. Oh, hold on, you see stupid? So you are saying to me he can't be God because he is dead and he was killed by a human for three days. Mm. We just yesterday, we have a Muslim was explaining to us that you are dead and you are talking. You are in the grave and you are being tortured. So are you dead or alive? Hmm? Your prophet, he said, pray to me, for your prayer will be supplicated to me. They ask him how we can do that and you will be dead. He says, we the prophet, our body will never decay. Huh? I thought you are saying he's dead. Here we go, the prayer of the Muslim will supplicate it to Muhammad. And we the prophets, so are you saying Jesus is not even prophet in Islam no more? So they don't even understand the religion, they don't understand what we believe in. For us, we, all what happened to Jesus is the body was dead, God never died. Who said what we believe that God he died, you idiot? Jesus says before Abraham I am, which means before he have a body of a human being, he is exist. So his existence have nothing to do with the flesh. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. So the body, they killed the body. Even you idiot, you as a human. You believe in resurrection, don't you? What does that mean? It means your body is dead, your soul is not. And what God did he do? He resurrect, he reunite the body with the soul. So even you as a human, even when you die, you are not really, I mean, you are dead by body, but your soul is alive. Your soul will not die. This is why it's called resurrection. Reunite, idiot. So in the case of Jesus, he's different. Let us take him as a human, just as a human. As long God in Christianity is a spirit. And they killed the man who is not really the point of existence of Christ. It's just a flesh. This is why Jesus, he said, you can destroy this temple and I can build it in three days. The Jews, they thought he talking about the temple of Solomon, but he was talking about his body. So for you, you are saying Jesus cannot be God because he died for three days. Let us go with your logic. In, in Islam, Jesus never died. That means he's God. Because how Jesus is just a man and he never died. You see, I'm just trying to use your stupid logic. You're excused to refuse Jesus as God because he died for three days. Well, in Islam, Jesus is alive for 2,000 years. And where he's located? In heaven. So do you see the stupid logic? You just to prove that Jesus is God because the one who don't die, according to your logic, he is God. Well, Jesus never died in Islam, not even for a second. So with your stupid logic, you did expose Allah. If you ask the Muslims, why Jesus did not die? Muhammad died, Moses died, Abraham died, everybody died except Jesus. They have no answer. Why? And why he is in heaven? What he's doing there? Is it fair that Muhammad now has been eaten by the cockroaches of the Medina? We don't know even where his grave. The Muslims they say that he they buried him in the uh, in the bedroom of Aisha. Which bedroom is that in Mecca or Medina? Hmm? Muslims do not know. We didn't know even there was Muhammad. Is it fair that Muhammad is dead and Jesus is alive? Is it fair? He is the best prophet, but yet he is, according to Muslim books, his belly became full of fart and he stink, and I can show all the reference. Itfunu sahibakum faqad enten. Bury your friend, he smells so bad, disgusting, stink. So while Muhammad stink, according to Muslim books, 
Jesus right now is sitting in the holy heaven. So why you don't go by the logic of Islam? Hey, go by, I'm going with your logic. The one who die, he should not be God. No problem. Okay. So the one who stay alive is God. That is Jesus then. So it doesn't matter where you go, Jesus is God. Your logic is beating you. God that is being cursed in his own Bible, where it says he is being cursed in his own Bible. I know what they are talking about, by the way. They say, cursed is the one who hanged on the tree. But you idiot liar, read the rest of the verse. It says the one who commit a crime. You idiot liar. Jesus clearly said, and everybody says, even the Roman ro ro uh, uh, ruler, he says, this, this person, he have no sin. He, have no, uh, he commit no crime. I wash my hands from his blood. So the Bible says, cursed is the one who is hanged on a tree, for he committed a crime. But this is not about Jesus. God is being cursed in his own Bible. We answer that. God went to hell that he created. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, God, he went to hell to his creator. Isn't your God, Allah, he put his foot in the hell? So he, where he was. And then the hell said, Qat, Qat. Did Allah go to hell too? <laughs> and what did God go to hell? <laughs> God that was influenced by Satan and tempted to suicide for 40 days. Jesus, he tried to suicide for 40 days? You know what, who, uh, you know you know who is the one who uh, said that? I think this is Osama Abdullah, the coward, the potato, who I made him shish kebab. Where in the Bible it says Jesus was tempted. You see the word tempted here, they mean he failed. No, he tempted here that Satan, he tried to tempt him. But Jesus, he did not do any of what Satan he want. Same time, you liar, coward, the one who tried to commit suicide is Muhammad, not Jesus. Let us go and show some reference. But before we go, God will fight his own creation in the second coming. You stupid idiot, aren't you a Muslim who believe that Jesus will come and fight the pig? <laughs> And, and, and Jesus, when he is fighting the pig and he is fighting the Dajjal, he is fighting who? Aren't they the creator or the creation of Allah? So Allah is fighting his creation. When Allah, he ordered the Muslim to do jihad against us, what Allah is doing is fighting his creation. Aren't we, according to Islam, his creation? Or we are alien? So I cannot find a smart Muslim, he says something to us. And the funny, he says, special weak God. How Jesus can be weak God and you eat it and you just said God will fight. And he is the one, according to Islam, who will be victorious at the end of the story. If you are watching a movie, everybody die in the movie except who the hero. In Islam, that is Jesus. In Islam, literally, that is Jesus. I challenge the Muslim to say it's not true. Muhammad died, Moses died. Hey, Moses, give me some animation. Moses died. Abraham died. Isaac died. Jacob died. Muhammad, eh, the poison is cutting my art. And he had diarrhea. Muhammad is like me, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. He died because of his poo Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he claimed to be the Messiah. They found him filling his poo shit hole. This is your prophet, because of poison, whatever he eat, it's go diarrhea, he died. So all of them, they die, except Jesus. And you are telling me that Jesus is weak? 124,000 prophets sent by Allah, all of them, they die, except Jesus, and Jesus is weak for you. And you, potato, we Christian, we believe that Jesus is living God. And nobody can kill God. They kill the flesh. That's why he said, you can destroy this temple. I will build it. He will build it. How he can build it when he's dead? For the living God never die, my friend. 
You kill the flesh. So when you examine Muslim post, which is showing a lot of stupidity and anger, this is even go against their own teaching because Jesus is victorious. The Muslims are waiting for Jesus. Why you are waiting for him if he's weak? Are you waiting for the weak Jesus or the strong Jesus? Why Allah did not send Muhammad to fight the Antichrist? And why the Antichrist, his name is the Antichrist, by the way. I mean, why he is not anti-Allah? Why his name is not anti-Muhammad? Antichrist? Satan is anti-God. Satan is not anti-me. I mean, I'm no one for him. He, Satan, he wanted to be God. So Satan, he is anti-God. The name of Antichrist alone is a proof that Jesus is God. Otherwise, why Satan, he decided to be his enemy, not the enemy of Muhammad? For a very simple reason, Muhammad is a servant of Satan. Actually, Satan is in the flesh of Muhammad. And this is a proven even from the Quran. And Jesus, he is the enemy of Satan, for he is God. You see, if Putin want to challenge somebody, he will challenge who? Christian Prince or Trump? Trump. Why? Because that guy is a king and the other guy is a king. There's two kingdoms. Satan he have a kingdom and God has his own kingdom. So Satan he challenged who? A little guy there? No, he challenged God. For he think he is God. And this is why his name is the Antichrist. For he is a challenging God, the Christ. And I challenge the Muslims, all of them together, to explain to us why Jesus have no sin, have no father, still alive until now. He is the one who will bring victory, and he is the one who will destroy Satan. Even Muhammad, he said, when the Antichrist, he sees Jesus, he will dissolve as he, as if he is salt, dissolve in water. What? As if he salt, dissolve in water. And you are telling me that Jesus is weak? Your prophet was possessed by the devil and all the Muslims agree that he was bewitched. Your prophet received satanic verses, which means he was a prophet of Satan. Because if I speak for Satan, that makes me Satan person, satanic person. If my tongue speak for the tongue of Satan, that means my tongue is the tongue of Satan. And this is what you Muslims agree upon. Satan have no power over Jesus, my friend. And your prophet said, when Satan, he see Jesus, he will dissolve like salt. And that will be the end of the time and victory will come. By who? By the hands of Jesus, even in the filthy book of Muhammad. Who can refute that? Any Muhammadan? And you notice something about Muhammadan, if you remember yesterday, when we were talking about Muhammad copying from uh, the books of the rabbi. You remember yesterday? Muhammad is copying from the book of the rabbi. And we got the Muslim busted with no mercy. From their own words. The second you put Muhammad, Muhammad and busted in his corner, he changed the topic in the speed of light. Do you remember yesterday? Let us take a look. Just to remind you of what happened yesterday. Any second, any debate, you make him look like a joke. And I'm talking about Muhammad, not my, the Muslims. Muslims for me, they are poor people. They are naive, being fooled by, you know, the private part vendor Muhammad, who himself could not fix his private part. Even Muhammad, he said, imagine guys, there's a prophet, he says, I was the most weak person in between mankind and boom, boom. I mean, what kind of a prophet, he go in the stage and he say that? Brothers and sisters, my name is Muhammad. I was the most weak person in Boom Boom. And then I invoke Allah. And then Allah, he then me, send me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. And since then, I get the power of 40 men in Boom Boom. This is God. 
The Muslim, they say to us, and by the way, anything I say, if there is a Muslim want to challenge me to show you what I am saying, call me. Say you are a liar, show me. Did your prophet invoke Allah to fix his private part? And then Allah, he went to his kitchen and he made shish kebab dish for him. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, that if Allah want to fix something or he do something, he say be. Okay, why Allah did not say be to the penis of Muhammad? Why he need to send him a dish of shish kebab? Christian Prince, first of all, I am busy. Hold on, Zakan, like you're a doctor. We have a person. Christian Prince, first of all, I told you I'm busy. Okay, come on, Zakan, like what are you doing? I know what are you doing. I mean, what, what do you do? Like, what do you do for a living? Christian Prince, I do a lot of things. First of all, I have a degree, not like you. And I'm a doctor. This is what I'm calling you because you're a doctor. You get a point there. Brother said that he get a point there. He's calling me because I'm doctor. Hey, he's a stupid, I'm smart. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Zachary, okay, uh, okay, time to show off, right? So, what happened to the penis of your prophet? He invoked his God, and then his God, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. What do you think about this? This is very normal. If a person is sick, you give him a recipe. Uh, but, but this is God. Why God, he need the... Uh, to, to make a recipe, I thought God, he says, B is going to be. How come Allah did not fix the penis of Muhammad by saying B? First of all, Allah will not use the word B because it's not about penis. Uh -huh. So the word B of Allah is limited, like what? Open the window? Exactly. So if Allah say B to the penis of Muhammad, be good penis, that will not function? Exactly. So Allah, he had to find a way. So he went to the kitchen and he made teeth kebab. And then he sent it to the Prophet. And then the Prophet, he ate it. And he made the one of 40 men. Hey, wait, by the way, how Muhammad, he measured that his power became 40 men power and boom, boom. Like, did you guys make a race like brings 40 men and you see how many times they can do it and Muhammad, he won? Christian Prince, this is a very really typical question. Very embarrassing. Respect yourself, please. Hey, but you are the one who's saying he got the power of 40 men. How you measure it? Allah is it too. The Prophet said, oh, what if the Prophet, he don't even have the power of a cat? Did you see it? Is it Aisha, she said that the Prophet imagined that he's having sex, but in fact, he never did? Where is the 40 men? Christian Prince, Aisha, he was talking when the Prophet was bewitched. Was what? Was bewitched, with, bewitched, you mean? Exactly. And now you are supporting for accepting my English. Your English is funny and your Arabic is funny. So don't try it in, okay? Okay, so how the Prophet was bewitched? You Muslim, you say that Muhammad is protected by Allah. And now you are saying to me that the Prophet was bewitched, so you were for a bewitched Prophet? Christian Prince, magic is very powerful. As an example, my mother-in-law, she put magic on me. And since then, I don't get fat. I'm so skinny. If you look at me, I am swimming inside my jacket. Ah, so you think you are so skinny and you are swimming inside your jacket because of the magic? Exactly. And now you are getting better and smarter. And don't call me again. And next time you want to call me, show me your face. Show me your face, I tell you. Okay, Zach and Nick, thank you. I'm not going to hang up. What do you mean you don't hang up? I don't want to hang up. I tell you. You are a coward, you are running away from me. Oh, I'm not running away. Okay, we stay. No, I'm going to leave then. What's wrong with you? Are you going to hang up or not? I'm going to leave. But a second ago, you said I'm running away. Now you are running away. I'm not running away. So hang up, I'm not going to hang up. Okay, so stay with us, I'm not going to stay with you. Uh, so what we will do now? I'm going to curse you. May Allah make you stupid. Uh, so you admitted I'm not stupid yet. Um, okay, this is the wrong one. May Allah make you, uh, you know, uh, look like uh, uh, a camel. Are you saying I don't look like a camel? I thought the Quran says we are animals already. Okay, I will take this one back. Uh, may Allah, uh, 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 what? Okay, Zakir, thank you. Nice to nice talking to you. Exactly. Oh, but it's nice talking to me. I see even my wife. She said to me, "It's very nice talking to you." It's better to me when you are asleep. But what? Okay, Zakir, whatever you say. Thank you very much. This is Islam. This is the stupidity of this cult. 
listen to this. This is a Muslim, he called me yesterday and he got me busted, as usual. He said the answer, this is true. Did he say right away, this is true? Or a few days after? Both. How do you come both? How Muhammad, he say, if, if Jibreel, he came to him, few days after this incident happened, how Muhammad, he say right away, this is true? How he confirm it? You just say that Jibreel came to him a few days after to tell him the story. Yes, because Jibreel informed him before that about the punishment of the grave. Okay, guys, this is the question. If Jibreel informed him before, so why you say a few days after Jibreel came to him and told him the story about the punishment of the grave? Secondly, if Jibreel came before, yes, okay, hold on. <laughs> as long as Jibreel came before, why Muhammad never prayed this prayer before? Because why he never prayed? Muhammad, huh? because Muhammad didn't know that even the Muslims would be put to trial in the grave. And he became terrified. My friend, that right. Muhammad, he did not know. So Muhammad was giving an answer without knowing? The Prophet of Allah, he was teaching wrong information? He didn't know? If you don't know, shut up. Don't, don't say I know. That's mean he lied. He don't know. Is the sound of this guy, is it clear, guys? Somebody saying the volume is not good in the video? Is it good? Right away, he starts saying, read, read carefully, read carefully, right away. <laughs> it's in front of you. I like your love, by the way. You are a joker. So, By the way, when a Muslim, he is in the corner, they start laughing. You know, this is a pain. This is not a laugh. Pain, painful. The second you see the Muslim laughing this way, it means there's a lot of pain. It's okay, he's doing delivery. So did he say immediately? Actually, she said, after that day, that day, not a few days after, after that day, we never saw Muhammad praying except saying this. But in, a, in a, another hadith, it says, after Jibreel came to him, he said, after the day, he never offered. Give me the hadith, give, give, me the, give, me the, give me the hadith. Wait, uh, I can't, wait, let, let me try to find hmm. Copy the hadith in Arabic, post a few words from it, not all of it, maybe because YouTube will not allow you. Anyway, so this is how it is always when you put a Muslim in the corner. And then we have another Muslim, he called me after that. Let's see the other one, where things get more hilarious. No, no, let, let me tell you, let me tell you before you leave. Let me... uh, this guy here, right away when you get them busted, they start talking about something different topic. They want to change the topic. I called you earlier. Yeah, I know, I know. But what, what's, what's your name, my friend, so I can call you by your name, if you don't mind? My name is Juan. Your name is Juan? What does that mean? Your name is Juan, so your dad, he called you Juan? No, no, no. My name is Juan. Okay, but your you name, your name. Juan, or is that too difficult for you? My name is Muhammad. And originally, my name is Kathum. And some people, they call me Ahmad. And some people call me Mustafa. Which one is you? I have 99 names. Okay. No. Okay. What? 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 No. I cannot. I, I, it's it's very hard for me because because uh, I don't speak Arabic. So. But I'm I'm back. Okay. okay. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yeah. So I found the evidence that actually uh, the rabbis hmm. also believe that there is a punishment in the grave. Thank you very so much. Guys, the rabbi. Guys, did you did you hear it? The rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis. Again, the rabbis. This is not from the. This is not from the Bible. Listen, listen. no, no, no. You want it true because this woman, Jewish woman, right, mm -hmm. uh -huh. was a Jew, right? Right. Or it was she? Was she not a Jew? Yeah. Tell me. Uh -huh. She's she a, was Jew. a Jew, right? Okay. Yeah. So you want proof, right? Okay. I will um, read what I found. Okay. I know what you find. This is not from the Old Testament, my friend. This is from the Talmud, which is... Thank you very much, the rabbi, the rabbi, the rabbi, the book of the devil, the Talmud. Guys, the stupid idiot, he think he can refute me. He said, don't you agree with the church father? And then what he is going to read for me, the Talmud. The church father for the Abdul is the Talmud. Can you believe it? Don't you agree with the church father? Yes, I agree with church father. What church? Could show me. He start reading the Talmud. What? 
They believe that the spirit will be tortured. First of all, even 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 they even they even they hold on hold on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you before you read. Let me tell you. Let me tell you before you read it what it says. Hold on hold on hold on hold on. Let me show you. Do you deny the church fathers? Listen listen. No none of the church fathers they say that. Don't stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Now I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Do you Muslim approve it? Do you Muslim approve the Talmud? Do you Muslim approve the Talmud? Or taken from the church fathers. So my question back to you is: Do you take from the church fathers? Let us go with the Talmud first. Do you approve the Talmud, and then we will go to the church fathers? Do you take from the church fathers? We will take no problem. But I'm asking you now: Do you accept the Talmud? Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept the Talmud? Do you accept the Talmud? Yes or no? See, they don't accept the Talmud, so why Muhammad is taking a story from the Talmud? And when he said to me, Church Father, I thought he's going to quote from me a verse, try to give it for a false interpretation. He's talking about the Talmud. The Talmud is a Church Father? The Talmud is an Antichrist book. It's a devilish book. So you admitted that your prophet is stealing from the Talmud? The book of the devil. I'm not saying that, not saying that he was taking, uh, you know, uh, learning from the Jewish woman. So why you are quoting for me? Why you are quoting for me? Why you are quoting for me? Actually, also the prophet. Listen, listen, listen. You know. So you agree with me? So Christians are so, not doing. You are literally, uh, you know, denying or not taking from the Old Testament anymore. My question back to you is: Do you take from the Church Fathers? Yes or no? Sure, we take. Go ahead, show me. Show me. Okay, show me, show me. No, show me, guys. He want to show you from the church father where it says that two angels will come to you in the grave and they will hit you with the hammer. Go ahead. Go ahead. From the church fathers. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show me. Go ahead. Hello. Okay. Yeah. No problem. I'm back. Okay. Okay. The punishment of Qura. <clears throat> Once a Bedouin came to Rabah Bar. Hannah and offered to show him where Korah and his followers what is it? What, 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 According to the hadith you provided, yes. Tell me, what's what can you uh, take from the hadith? You, I'm asking scholar, you. Right? I'm, I'm taking from the hadith scholar. that Muhammad he learned that from the Jews. This is my point. Muhammad is a thief. He learned that from the Jews. But this is not approved, even in the, even, even in Judaism. Not every Jew agree with the Talmud. The Talmud is a book of rabbis. It's the same as you know. Right now, I can make a book. Anyone, anyone who is a rabbi, you write in it. So I'm asking you now. I'm, ask, I'm asking you. Is the Talmud? Is the Talmud is a book of God in Islam? Again, I'm rephrasing. You told me get get proof from uh, uh, you know Judaism, and but, here's proof. But you are proving no. You are proving my point. You are proving. You are proving my point. My point was that Muhammad he stole that from the rabbis, from the Jews. He is a thief and he is a stupid because he stole something stupid from them crazy man like seriously that's why listen guys the audience of this guy that's why scholars do not want to debate this guy because he's very rude and a big liar and a deceptive one. okay hold on hold on why i'm rude why i'm rude why i'm rude why i'm rude why i'm rude, why I'm rude? and why i'm deceiving is it you who called me is it you who called for me that the talmud is it you who called the talmud okay i'm asking you do you do muhammad approve the talmud listen 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 you are a potato you, you are going to hang up over there okay then answer then then answer yes then 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 be a man then now he switched to polytheist from the from Muhammad speaking about the punishment of the grave. Suddenly we're going to talk about polytheist. And the funny Muslims who worship Muhammad, Muslims who kisses black stone, Muslims who believe in stones forgive sin, erase sin, Muslims who believe that they have to pray to Muhammad, they talk about monotheism. And the Muslim he think that because they say we have one God, that means they have a point here, like they are stronger than us. Well, we are the one who believe in one God, not you. 
If we examine the one God of Islam, we will find he does not exist. We have one God who say the earth is a flat. One God who say the women she have a sperm coming from the upper side of her ribs. One God who says sperm of a man coming from the backbone. One God who says mountain he placed it in the top of the earth. One God who is saying that thunder is an angel. One God who say that uh, uh, what? Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, Allah he placed mountains in the top of the earth so the earth will not be shaking. One God who say that salty water and fresh water never mixed. I mean, should I continue? You have one idiot God. His name is Muhammad. So they think by saying we have one God, they have something. You have zero. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Right away he switched to monotheism and poly polytheist. You are not a person who worship God, you worship Muhammad. Muhammad he says something, Allah he says something. Which one you follow Muslims? You follow Muhammad. Who wanna, who wanna prove me wrong? I will open my Skype and we encourage any Muslim who have knowledge to call us live on air. My Skype is open. Open it, change. Anyone? Okay, we have a Muslim look like it. Hello? Hello there. Hello? Yes. Ultimate fault. Hello? Yes, who is this? Oh, this is not ultimate. Okay, so how can I help you, my friend? You are live on air. Ah, I'm live on air. Thank you very much. Actually, um, do you remember last time um, you were active on Pal Talk, right? Hmm. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, pardon? Are you a Muslim? Um, Muslim by religion or Muslim by faith? I don't understand. Are you a Muslim or not? Either you say yes or you say no. You, you, you have to specifically ask that Muslim by religion or Muslim by faith. That's it. That doesn't matter. It's, 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 it is you who identify yourself, not me. So I'm asking you, are you a Muslim or not? Because the answer will be two different kinds of answer. I don't understand you, my friend. If you ask me, are you Christian? I will say yes. Christian means Christian mean someone who follow Jesus. Muslim means someone he surrendered to Muhammad. Do you surrender to Muhammad? Do you say Shahada? I never surrender to Muhammad and I never say the Shahada because it is not me. And I'm also not a Christian. So you are not a Muslim? Okay, um, you ask me. Okay, I'll give you two answers. If hmm. You are asking me whether I'm a Muslim. I don't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to do philosophy with you. Are you a Muslim or not? Okay, I ask you. I answer you. I answer do you me. believe in you Muhammad as a prophet? Do you believe in Muhammad as a prophet? Yes or no? I believe that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Okay, so are you a Muslim or not? Let me rephrase that, your, your question. <laughs> you ask me whether I'm a Muslim by religion or by faith. Okay, so you believe, well, uh, this is, my friend, my friend, uh, you are being silly well, now. You are being silly. Okay, but you said Muhammad is a messenger of God. Let's go from there. Muhammad is a messenger of God. What makes Muhammad messenger? Go ahead. What is the proof that Muhammad is a messenger? Because I believe my faith is mine. No problem. I'm asking you. I'm not talking about you. You will believe your faith is mine. I'm asking you. You said Muhammad is yeah. a messenger of God. What make him a messenger of God? Because I believe the Quran. You believe in the Quran. What is the proof yes. that the Quran is from God? Okay, we go there then. What make you believe the Quran is from God? Okay. Let me ask you this. Can you speak louder, you please? Can you speak? Can you speak louder? Okay, okay, I will speak louder. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you this. Why did you believe that the Bible is from Jesus? You are changing the topic. I'm asking you now. You said you believe in Muhammad. You yeah, you see, the, be the, you best, the, best, the best answer for my question is to make a question as simple as that. You know, this is the easy way. So I ask you a question, what do you do? I ask you, do you have, let us say you go to the store. You say to the guy in the store, do you have Pepsi Cola? You say to him, what, do you th what make you think we have Pepsi Cola? It's a store. You said you believe in Muhammad, so I'm asking you now, what make you think that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Go ahead. Uh, you ask me, 
whether Muhammad is a prophet of God. Yeah. I I told you I believe Muhammad is the messenger of God. So he's the prophet. He's a messenger only. Messenger and prophet is different. Messenger, oh. hmm. the message is divine and eternal. Okay, and the prophet? prophet only for that. Prophet only lives. Okay, Muhammad, if he's a prophet, he's the prophet for the Arabs. Uh huh. And nothing more, nothing less. Hmm. If I believe that Jesus is the messenger of God, Muhammad is also the messenger of so, God. So when Allah, he sent Muhammad, he sent him only to the Arab? Yes. So are you an Arab? I'm a, I'm a Malay. I'm from coming from Malaysia. So how so how you believe in Muhammad? If you are, you just said Muhammad was sent only to the Arab, and actually this is true. The Quran says that Muhammad was sent only to Mecca and what is around it. Okay. So now, how you believe that Muhammad is a messenger to you? Because of the Quran. Okay. Let's go to the Quran. Muhammad in the Quran, what he yeah. say? How 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 he make you think that he is a messenger for you in the Quran? Tell us. Okay. Let me ask you this. Hmm. How many times was Jesus mentioned in the Quran? 25, right? That doesn't matter. How many times was Muhammad mentioned in the Quran? Actually, Muhammad in the actually Jesus in the Quran did not even mention once. It's mentioned the Isa. We do not know who is Isa. Secondly, the Quran says Okay, okay. Hold on, 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 hold on. Does it the does the Quran say Hold on, hold on. Joshua means Isa. Hold on, hold on. Is it true that the Quran says in, cha no, in, cha in chapter 14, verse number 4, we send not a messenger except okay, what are you to teach now? chapter 14 from what Bible? From the Quran. Okay, good, great. Okay. Chapter 14, verse number 4 from the Quran says, We send not a messenger except this this is the messenger, the one you like, huh? Not a prophet, messenger, yeah. except to teach yeah. in the language of his own people. Is Muhammad from Malaysia and he speaks the language of the own people and he is from there? Did I see that Muhammad is from Malaysia? My father's name is Muhammad. You see, is he a prophet? You idiot. You idiot. You see, I'm calling you idiot. I'm giving you a rank now. You just said to me that you believe that Muhammad. Listen, 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 listen. You, you said to me, you said to me, Muhammad was a prophet for the Arab, a messenger for you. Okay. I said to you, what makes you a messenger for you? He said, because he was a prophet only for the Arab. Okay. But the Quran says he will not send a messenger to you unless he is from your country speaking your language. Answer that. Do you know what messenger is in Arabs? Messenger means Rasul. Oh, you, uh, Rasul, I don't know that. I just learned that from you. What does this have to do with my business now? I'm asking you, the Quran said, Allah will not Rasul send you. Me. Listen, the listen. Holy Spirit. Are, are you, are you, are you, are you deaf? Holy Spirit. Are you deaf? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm no. saying, uh, the Quran no. says, Allah no. never no. send a messenger no. except no. to teach. Means, Rasul means messenger. Hey, so you believe so believe that Jesus is God. I agree with you. Jesus is God. We settle on that, right? <laughs> There's only one God, and Jesus is God. You believe that Jesus is God. So you believe Jesus is God. I agree. You believe Jesus is God. I don't believe Jesus is God. Jesus is the Word of God. Oh, He's the Word of God. Okay, That's we, where we differ. okay, we will go to that part. We will go to that part. Let's finish this one first. Okay. What the Quran says: okay. Allah will not send you a messenger, a messenger, not a prophet. Unless he speak your language and he is from your country. Is Muhammad speaking your language? Is from your country? I know where you're going with this. It doesn't matter where you are going. I want an you answer. That you are smart. For sure you know where I'm going. For sure you know where I'm going. I'm going to buy some Pepsi Cola for you now. Listen. What is the mother tongue of Jesus? This is not the question. This is not the question. This is the Quran. I'm asking you, Muhammad. I'm not. I'm reading for you from the Bible. I'm reading from the Quran. The Quran said, oh, "Listen, listen, 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 listen." Do you listen. know Aramaic or not? The Bible, the Bible, the, my friend, the Bible says that Jesus, the, you see, you are, you are, you are a silly person. Even, even in your, in the, even in your Islamic books, your, your Islamic books agree that Jesus, he made his disciples speak all languages. Shut up, shut up. Jesus, he speak many languages. He spoke, Jesus, he spoke many languages. He spoke Aramaic. He speak all languages. And the Bible says that God, the Messiah, he made his disciples speak all languages. Languages. Now I'm asking you, why you are changing the topic? Why you are changing the topic? Are you being a coward? The Quran says Allah will never send you a messenger unless from you is your country and he speak your language. You jump to what? You jump to talk about Jesus because you are a coward. Are you going to answer or not? No. 
Okay. Let me ask you this. No, don't ask me. I want an answer. No, you see, with the Christian you prince, Muslims cannot play no. games. Muslims cannot play games. You are in the corner, even if you are sitting in a round room. You need to answer me before you continue. You cannot play games with the Christian prince. I am a okay. Christian prince, my friend. So, does the, do you agree with the Quran? Do you agree with the verse saying Allah will never send you, and he never sent the messenger unless he is from your country speaking your language? Do you agree with that verse or not? Yes, I agree with okay, that. Okay, so how Muhammad is a messenger for you? So you agree with that. Okay, wonderful. So how you agree that Muhammad is a messenger for you when the Quran says Allah will never send the messenger unless from your, he's from your country and he speak your language? Do Muhammad, is he from Malaysia and he speak your language? Do you know that the messenger speaks a very universal language? Where is that? Well, hold on. Okay, hold on. Guys, Bible. the Quran is the universal language? The Quran? Is, are you stupid? Are you, are you stupid? The Quran says, the Quran says, you idiot. Your Quran, the Quran is, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot, you idiot. You are a certified idiot. Everybody is laughing at you. Listen, listen. Okay, so why the Quran, so why the Quran saying, so why the Quran saying, we will never send you a messenger unless it is in your language so you might understand if the Quran you is never an that you never stated that new language what kind of language that you are asking me Abdul you are an Arab it says in the front Arab of you it says in the front of you it says in the front of you Allah will send you in your language so you might understand do you agree with that or not Yes, I understand. Arabic. Okay, do you, do you, okay, do you understand Arabic? I understand do you understand? Arabic. Do you understand? So, do you understand Arabic? Do you understand Arabic? Muhammad, fits my my description. Do you understand Arabic? Language. Do you understand Arabic? You are wrong. Okay, I know where you go. Do you understand it. Arabic? I understand Arabs. Okay, read for me. Here we go. Okay, read for me. Okay, read for me. Let me. Okay, read for me the screen. No, read for me the verses in the screen. Guys, he said he understand Arabic. Okay, go ahead, read, read for me. Either you are a liar or you are truthful. Okay, read. Here we go. I'm not a Hafiz, okay? I need, I need to have a Quran with me. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. I'm putting the screen. I have it in the screen. It's in the screen. What screen? Because I don't know this, how the Skype works. If I if I minimize this, maybe this is... This, 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 no, it doesn't matter. Skype, if you minimize it, it's not going to stop the screen in YouTube. Still, you can see both. Look at the screen. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because I don't know how this works. Okay, I'm going to read. Hmm. What verse you want me to read? Anything. Read. Here we go. I will, I will scroll for you and you read for me. I will choose something simple for you. Here we go. He's reciting. He's reciting. Here we go. Stupid. 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 Donkey. Stupid. Donkey. This is. This is a. Because because he know it by heart. He don't know. He cannot read. Radio station. I ask him to read what is on the screen. What, what does it have to do with the screen? Alif Lam Mim and what stop? What does that word mean? He don't know. Do you see how stupid this cult is? Anyone I used to sing a commercial when I was a kid in English, I don't know a word in it. I don't know even what the commercial mean. I sing it, so I hear it, I sing it. They teach their children how to sing the Quran when they are in young age, but they don't know what they are talking about. Okay, what does that mean? He don't know. Let me call him back because this guy is fun. Coward. I cannot call him for some reason. Okay, now maybe. Hello? <laughs> yes, why you are why you are reciting for me a different chapter have nothing to do with my question. You are reciting something you know by heart. I'm asking you to read. That is the Quran, right? Okay, I'm asking you to read. You are reciting the chapter. That, that, you are you are reciting some verses. You know, you know, you recite them by heart. You are not reading. You said to me you understand the Quran. Okay, you know what? You are the one who chose Alif Lam Mim. Correct? What Alif Lam Mim mean? Alif Lam Mim. You don't know what Alif Lam Mim. No, I do not know. No, I want you to explain to me. Go ahead. You are Christian. You should know better. No, I do not know. You tell me. Okay, go ahead. Alif Lam Mim. You don't know. No, I do not know. Right, you know. What's wrong with you? Hebrew, actually. 
I, I, I want you to explain the Quran, my friend. Guys, why do you keep repeating yourself? Obviously, you are thinking, right? Are you searching Google? What Alif Lam mean? You are the one who chose the verse. You are the one who start reciting it. And you are the one who is supposed to know what it means. What Alif Lam mean? mean? Okay, I purposely choose that because I know you will ask this. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what, what does it mean? Okay. You are Christian, you know. Hmm. Now, what is Alif Lam mean? What you tell me? It is from it is from Aramaic actually. Is it from Hebrew? Okay. And what does it mean? The the the, the history dated back from Hebrew is from the tetragrammaton. My friend, my friend, can you tell me what Aleph Lam mean? Mean. It is a codex, you know. What does that mean? It is a structure of the Quran. No problem. What does that mean? No problem. What does that mean? The question is what Alif Lam Mim mean? Go ahead. You know what Alif Lam Mim No, I don't. You tell me. Go ahead. Do you, want, do you really want it to know it? Yeah, sure. I want to know it. Thank you, my, my friend. Come on. It is, the name, it is the name of God. It is the name of God. Your God, his name is Alif Lam Mim? It is the name of God, yes. Oh wow! Okay. So you have now a new name. So I, I thought, I thought, I, I thought Allah have ninety nine names. We don't see there in the ninety nine names anyone saying that this is a. You know, where did you learn this? Allah is not did not have no ninety nine names. That's bullshit. You know. Ah, this is bullshit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can you show me? Can you show me one scholar? He says that Allah, his name is Alif Lam Mim. That is the codex, like, like why I told you that is a codex. No, you need to show me. You see, in order to prove, in order to prove your point, you have to show me. If there's anyone agree with you, is that your own fictions? Is that your own fabrication? What is that? Yeah. Alif Lam Mim, what does that fiction. mean? I don't care. You call it fiction. I don't mind. This is what I believe. <laughs> so you are fabricating answers. You are fabricating answers. If we but go right now to the FC, we see, we find that saying Allah knows what he meant. So how come the scar they say Allah knows what he meant by that? Nobody knows. Except you, you are the one who knows. What happened? Allah knows. Can, can you rephrase that question again? How come the scholar they say Allah knows best what he meant by that? The scholar says Allah knows best. Where did you, where did they quote that? Here we go. You, you claim that you know Arabic, you understand Arabic, read it for me. This is Tafsir al yeah. where, where? This is Tafsir al oh, in the front of my eyes. Read for me, read for me Tafsir al go ahead. Tafsir. I don't read Tafsir. I'm not the Tafsir, Tafsir fanatics. Uh -huh. So what do you do? How do you understand the Quran? Do you, I, I, do you know Arabic? I know how to read, but I don't know Arabic. So how do you understand? Guys, you knew how to read, but you do not know Arabic. So how do you understand the Quran in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Okay. Let me ask you what this is. Don't ask me, I'm asking you. Don't change the topic. Okay, How do you understand the Quran okay, let, in a language you don't understand? I, this is a miracle. Tell me. No, no, How you can do let that? Let me ask you one thing. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Don't, stop being stupid. Don't change the topic. The second a Muslim, his, his ass is spanked and it's red. He changed the topic no, immediately. So this is not the question. Me. Don't change the topic. How do you understand the Quran if you do not know Arabic? I want to know. Can you rephrase that again? Why I need to rephrase how, over I, I, how many times I need to repeat okay. the same question? How you understand? Okay, I will make it slow for you. I will make it slow for you. How you understand the Quran if you do not know Arabic? You want okay. it slower? Quran, there's a lot of words. There's one word that is, uh, if you know, you are an Arab, you should know better. Hmm. One word called ayah. Do you know what ayah means? No, I do not know. Tell they me. They say miracle. I am miracle. It's okay. not a miracle that uh, Jesus can walk on water. Jesus can. It's not even miracle. Mm. Ayah means the one who should have faith should see. Okay. Okay. So what is? I okay, hold on. In the Quran. Okay. So you okay. believe in the Quran without knowing what is inside the Quran, and you recite the Quran, but you do not know what the Quran is saying. Of course, I know what the Quran. Is. I just ask you what Alif Lam mean. Me. Alif Lam Mim is the name of God. Where do you get this from? Jesus told me. Where he told you? Go show me. Go ahead. Jesus told me. 
Jesus told me that Ali Black where, where, where he Muhammad. showed you? Okay, guys, Jesus told him this guy he received Allah. a name. Okay, where well, Jesus told you that Alif Lam mean 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 the name of Allah. Do you Allah. know who Jesus is? Do you know who Jesus Don't change the topic, Abdul. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Too much camera you. I'm asking you either you are a liar or you are telling the truth. You show me where you get this from. You say Jesus told me. Where Jesus told you? How Jesus? You are not a good Jesus followers. I know Jesus. <laughs> okay. Jesus spoke to me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Everybody is laughing at you now. Look, the, the, the chat is going crazy. People are having care. fun. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, listen. I want you to explain to me the chapter we caught for you from the beginning. My, my friend, my friend, what's your name? What's your name? What's your what, What's your name? What's your name? Shafarizan. Shafarizan. Okay. Shafarizan Muhammad. Okay. Shafarizan, listen, listen. I, I want you, I want you, as long as you are a genius and you are with us, and I am so happy that you are here with us, to explain to me chapter 14, verse number 4. I'm not Chapter 14, verse number 4. Let me check. Okay. Chapter 14, verse. Okay. Thank you very much. That, that, is, that is where you are wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. That is where you are wrong. Uh huh. That's a God and prophet, not. Okay. The Arabs, actually, the Arabic language in the Quran is very simple. It's mm. well understood. Even me, as a Malay, I understood what you understood. in the Quran. You just said you didn't understand I... anything in a, a second ago. <laughs> anyway, listen. But then, but then... Okay, explain to me the verse, which is very easy to explain. Go ahead. You stupid. This is not the verse I'm reading for you. Are you stupid or what? I'm asking no, no, you, I, I do not, read the chapter, understand. chapter 14, <laughs> chapter 14, okay, sorry, sorry. chapter 14, okay. verse I number 4. Let me make it big for you. God did not send a messenger and uh -huh. for the language that the people know. Uh -huh. All of the world, all Muslims know what Arabic language is. Arabic language is not hard or difficult like Aramaic. Ah, okay. but okay, but hold on. It says Not here. It's, 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 it says. It says to his own. It says to his own people. Are you from the people of Muhammad? The language of Muhammad is Arabic. The Quran says we made this book a clear Arabic. Do you want? Me, do you want? Do you want me to explain further? Okay, Quran was sent in in uh, in uh, in Mecca. Uh, and for uh, 1434 years ago hmm. but it's still relevant until now uh -huh. but you don't understand it is you, you, you just said you just said you don't you just said you just said you don't speak arabic so what is what is relevant about the language you don't understand because i simply understand what quran is all about but you you just and said I, you don't understand arabic i adopted it i i i practice it and okay. i practice it in my life you practice the Quran in your life, but you didn't understand the Quran. Okay, okay hold on. Do you know that okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, Let me listen, tell you listen, listen, listen. Do you know? No, I do not know. The Quran already affirms what is written in the Bible. I don't believe that the Bible is Quran. I don't believe in the Muslim. That's good, that's good. So you are you are a better Muslim than the rest of Muslims. I, 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 I agree with you. The Quran confirmed the Bible, but it's not a question now. As long you are saying yeah. you understand the Quran, and the Quran is so clear for you. Can you explain this verse for me? It says we send a messenger, except we never send a messenger, except in the language of his own people. Okay, so Muhammad was sent. People. Okay. Since I understand the Arab language, that means that language is for me. But you just said you didn't understand it. Everybody understands. Okay, I'm going. Even you I'm, Arab I'm going to speak to you in Arabic. I'm going to make a, my own Quran, and I want you to show me that I'm wrong. Let us see if you understand Arabic or not. Is that fair? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Shalom. Wa idhqala Musa li idhkuru ni'mat Allahu alaykum. Allah alaykum idh anjaakum min ali faraun. Okay. Did I make a false? Uh, where, 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 is, where is my mistake? Where is my mistake? Wa idhqala Musa li rabbikum. Hmm. Is no. Is qala Musa li qawmihi. Ah. Musa said to his to his people. Uh huh. I made no, I made no, I made a no, verse no, now. Is that right, is that right. is that verse is accurate? I made a verse. Is that verse accurate or the Quran is accurate? Can you repeat it? Can you repeat it again? Okay. 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 Okay.
the, the, the first half I understand. The Anjakum I, I, is, is, is quite... Is I'm quite asking quite you, you understand Arabic? Um, did I make a stupid mistake here? Did I fabricate Quran? Is my Quran better than the Quran? No, the first one is, is, is I understand the first. The, the, you mentioned about this is not Quran. the question. I, I, the, 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 this is not a question. You said you understand Arabic, right? I made the Quran. Is my Quran better yeah, than the Quran? Yeah, you are mentioning about Musa. Musa is mentioned a lot. This is not the question. Quran. This is not the question. Is my Quran better than your Quran? I just made Quran. Is my Quran better than your Quran? Just, no, that is from the Quran, right? Um, I just said to you, I just made Quran. Is my Quran better than your Quran? You said you understand Arabic and you are very well versed. So, is my Quran better than your Quran or Allah Quran is better than mine? No, whatever whatever message that is conveyed in the Quran is better than everything. So, you are saying now but that the, the, the Quran is better than what I said, correct? No. Do you remember Yasin? In this is another question. This is another question. This is another question. What is the Quran? Is the Quran telling the story about Moses? Is it better than my story, the one I just told you, or my story? The Arabic is better. You do Arabic. Of, of course, your Arabic is better because you're an Arab. I'm a Malay. So no, I'm talking about the Quran. I'm talking about the Quran. Which one is better? When Allah He spoke about Moses. Or me when I said, "Where the Qala Musa li qawmihi idh kuruna imat Allahi alaykum idh anjakum min ali faraun." Is my statement better than Allah telling about Musa, or the statement of Allah about Musa is better than mine? Do you know who Allah is? This is another question. Which one statement is better, the story Allah told in the Quran, or my or my statement? Of course, the Quran in huwa illa zikrun wa Quran. Okay, just to show that everybody that you are an idiot donkey. Well, I was reading Quran, you idiot. You just told me the Quran is better than what I said, but I was reading Quan. Pardon? No, no, no. You, you are, you are, you are, you are diverting. You are, you are, you are subjugating. You know. What do I, you, you, everybody heard you. You said the Quran for sure is better than what you said. You said the Quran is better than what I said, but I was reading Quran. I was reading exactly, here we go. وَإِذَا قَالَ مُوسَ لِقَوْمِهِ إِذُ كُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ أَنْجَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فَرَعَوْنِ The last one. You said, you said, you said the Quran is better for sure. It's about Allah. I know that you're mentioning this. You are, you are a liar. You are, you are the most, the most, the most lying, lying cheat, you know. Try to block me. Of course, I know you're trying to make a stupid, uh, stupid, stupid person out of me. Yeah. You think I'm stupid? No, you are not. You are a genius. Okay, let, let me ask you. I have a question. I'm not a fucking genius, you know. Uh, now I'm cursing. You know? Did you say that for? I'm not a genius. I'm did, did you say that for? No, no. You are trying. No. You, it's okay, Muhammad. He said too. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay my friend. Muhammad. He said too, that. You don't. You don't try to make a fool out of me. I am not. You are. You are. The, you are. You are officially a fool. You are certified fool. I did not make a fool out of you. You are a fool. Now listen. 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 I'm going to give you a chance. Listen. Listen. No problem. I'm going. I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. Let us make it simple. What do you think? Is that okay? Okay. Okay. I'm willing to change the topic for you. I'm willing to change the topic for you. Hmm? I'm not going to answer. Uh, let's go back to the topic. Yeah, okay. So the Quran says, in order to make it clear for them, in order to make it clear for them, we have to send the Quran. As long as you don't want to change the topic, that's wonderful. In order to make it clear for them, we send them in, your, in their language. What is the language Allah has sent the Quran with? What is the language Allah has sent the Quran with? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hmm. Are you listening now? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, what, okay, <laughs> what, what is the language? Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let, let us go, go next, next to your, to your question. What is your question now? No, I'm interested to, to talk to you about Jesus. Okay, as long as you understand Quran in Arabic, can you speak to me in Arabic? I cannot speak to you. So how you understand the Quran in Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic? I mean, who is crazy here? I, you see, you are being a liar then. You, you said you do not need to know Arabic to understand the Quran. So how you can do that? Hello?
בטטו, 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 I understand Arabic, but I do not know Arabic, I can understand it, but I cannot speak it, because I am a Muslim, I say stupid things. Are you there? Hello? Yo, what no, happened? I'm here, I'm here. Okay, so the Quran oh, yeah, says yeah, you cannot, so you say... No, no, uh, CP, CP, uh, hello, uh, I have full connection here. Mm. Oh, shit. Hello? Mm. Okay, CP, the reason why I, I, I call you now is I wanted to talk to you about Jesus since uh, I'm really interested to know your standpoint on Jesus as God. Why you don't tell me about Muhammad? Which one is more important for you? I'm interested in Muhammad. I don't know who Muhammad is. I'm only interested in Jesus. You don't know who is Muhammad? So you, you, how you believe that he's a messenger to you? I'm not interested, let me, let me repeat that. I'm not interested to know who Muhammad is. I, I'm really interested to know who Jesus is. Okay, as, as long, no problem. We can switch the topic to know about Jesus, no problem. I want to ask you, the Quran no, says, the Quran says, the, the Quran, the Quran, uh, I switched the topic okay. for you, no problem. The, the Quran speak about Jesus. What do you understand from the Quran about Jesus? Who is Jesus? Not much. Not much, but you said you understand the Quran. No, because Jesus was mentioned, you know, uh, not in detail as in Bible. Or so what the point of saying to me that Jesus was mentioned 25 times, as you said, which is not true, you know, and then you and then and then and then you say to me, I, I understand nothing about Jesus. So Allah, He mentioned 25 times Jesus, but He never mentioned what is Jesus. So you just got your Allah busted. Allah, He's stupid. He is like a, a, those uh, those uh, 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 what they call them the the green bird who speak. Like, bah, 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 you know? Jesus, 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 Isa, 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 Isa. But who is Isa? We do not know. He's go. You are you are a person who said you understand the Quran. Muhammad is a messenger sent to you. And now, until now, after reading the Quran, saying that Jesus mentioned there 25 times, which is a false, yet you don't understand what Jesus, how come, what happened? You're, are you saying your prophet, he failed? No, no. No, no, no. Let me, uh, let me rephrase that, that question. Mm. I call you because mm. I so wanted to know your standpoint on Jesus. That's it. My standpoint? I'm not interested to talk about Muhammad. I'm interested to talk about Jesus. What do you know about Jesus? Jesus is 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 the one who get Muhammad busted. He said he is the devil. No, that's not talk about Muhammad. I'm not interested on Muhammad. I'm not talking about Muhammad now. I'm not I'm not talking about Muhammad. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus is the one who taught us that a person like Muhammad is a scumbag. I'm talking about Jesus, not about Did Muhammad. He mentioned Muhammad in names. No, he said, yeah, he said Muhammad by name. Let me try, no, let me show you. No. <laughs> no, no, sure, he mentioned Muhammad by name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us show you how Muhammad is mentioned by name. Jesus, he mentioned the false teacher, the hypocrite, the liars, the scumbag, the fool, all of those fit with Muhammad. Okay, let me ask you, was Muhammad a fool when he said the one who had orgasm first, the baby will look like him? Or he was a fool, not a fool. Was he a liar and a fool? What, what do you mean? Well, Muhammad, he said, and this is what Jesus is talking about, the fool, the liar, the hypocrite, who claim to be teachers, but they are false teachers. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, <laughs> Muhammad, he said, Muhammad, he said, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, did he mention Matthew 24? Did he mention the name of the false prophet is Muhammad? Matthew what? Matthew what? <laughs> Matthew what? Matthew, Matthew 24, is it? Okay, where it says that in Matthew? I will, I will switch just for you. No, Matthew chapter 24. Okay, where, where it says that Matthew in Matthew 24, that uh, it's Muhammad, about Muhammad. Go ahead, read for us. No, Jesus did mention about the false prophet and whatnot. Did he I, mention the name I am of asking God? you, where in Matthew 24 he speak about Muhammad by name, as you said? I don't have my Bible with me now. Your Bible? Oh, I'm going to feel this. Uh -huh. So why are you mentioning it to me if you do not know where it no, is? No, you are Christian. You don't know. You, you have to help me. No, I, I, no, you are the one who made the claim. You have to prove it. You have to prove it. Where, where, where Muhammad is in the Bible? In Matthew 24. Okay, where? Jesus, a false prophet. Jesus what? In Matthew 24. Yeah. Chapter 24. Yeah. Okay, let me this okay 24 okay 
Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to his prayer. No, not this one. I think on verse 13. Okay, let no. Okay, um, so when. Uh, Verse 15, so when you see standing in the holy place, the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the house top go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one in the field go back to get the clock. How dreadful it is to be this for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that your flight will not take place in winter on, or on Sabbath, for then there will be great distress. Are you going to tell me which verse? Are you going to read the whole thing? Which verse? Which verse? No one will survive. Which of the elect? Do this be shortened. At that time, if anyone says to you, "Look, here is the Messiah," oh, there he is. Do not believe it. Did yeah. he mention Muhammad? No. No, Muhammad did not claim to be the Messiah. But the same verse, verse number twenty-four. If you know how to read, it says there is false teachers too. Not only false Christ, there is false prophet. Here we go. I will put in the screen, everybody yeah. will be laughing at you. It says, okay. for there shall rise false Christ and false prophets. Muhammad is the false prophet, not the false Christ. It, 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 it is your assumption that Muhammad is the false prophet. No, we can prove it. Here we go. I have the proof. I have the proof. Here we go. In the front of you, Muhammad saying, claiming knowledge from God, saying that the man who have orgasm first, the baby will look like him. And the, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will look like her. Is that accurate or this is false? Is it in the Quran? It's not in the Quran, right? Okay, we can go to the Quran. Guys, not in the Quran. So your prophet, he lied in the Hadith, but he told the truth in the Quran? Do you do you accurately believe that the Hadith is from Muhammad himself? Yes, it says Sahih. It's in the front of you. It says Sahih. Authentic. But that person, huh? a dead person named Qari. Oh, man, you are wrong, man. I'm wrong. You're the dead person other than Jesus. What? But Jesus here says here. On okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Listen, listen. You are, you are, you are trying to play like a kid. You are, you are, you are trying, you are trying to play like a kid. I will go with you. If we go to the Quran, no, 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 no. how the baby is created no. in the Quran? How the baby is created in the Quran? Do you know? You will take me uh, twenty-four days, thirty days to to explain this to you. No, you will take you twenty-four days. It's a verse in the Quran. No, no, it's a verse in the Quran. I want you to explain to me chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen in the Quran. Everybody will be laughing with me. Go ahead. You said you didn't accept the Hadith. Is the Quran is a is a lie to you? Huh? Chapter twenty-three, verse what? Fourteen. Chapter 23, verse 14. Let mm. me check this first. Oh, okay. okay. Chapter 23, verse 14. Mm. Just a moment. No so, chapter 23, verse 14. I think I'm familiar with that. With that. Uh, I'll try to explain to you. Chapter 23, verse 14. Al Mu'minun. Mm. Verse 14. Oh, this. This verse is quite familiar. Okay. Chapter 23, verse 14. Mm -hmm. okay, 14, verse 14. Mm -hmm. This is a topic. This, 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 this is talking about Nutfah, the Zygon. Mm. Nutfah, Zygon, huh? Mm. Are you sure? What Nutfah? This is about, you know. Are you reading Arabic now, know. supposedly? Is that Arabic? Yeah. This is from the clot of blood. Man, that's amazing. Okay. So we created the nutfa alaqa. We created the alaqa mudga. We created the mudga idaman. We created the idaman lahman. Okay. Explain. Do you agree with this? This is even explained in science. Okay, explain. Okay, science, guys, this is science. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, this is science. This is science. Explain to us what science. Go ahead. Quran is not science. If you believe Quran is science, but Quran Allah, is science. But are you saying Allah being, are you saying that Allah is, are you saying Allah is wrong here? <laughs> How can you, oh man. How can you say Allah is, this is proven in science. Okay, this is proven in science. Okay, how? Show us. Is, the science say, the science say you are created from a sperm and then the sperm became a congealed dead blood? That's what science says? Yes, from what I've learned in biology. Where? Okay, show me. I, I want you to show me where you get this from. 
This is what I learned from biology. In biology, they teach you that the uh, sperm will transform around, to, into dead blood? Around three months. What? Pardon? The, the verse says that the sperm will transform into a, not a semen, by the way, not a, it's a drop of a, a sperm. Drop of a sperm, yeah. all of it will transform into a piece of congealed blood. No, it has to be um, uh, uh, together with the ovum from the female. What ovum? What ovum? Do you see the word ovum there? Anyway, where's the word ovum? It says that the no, mutfa. It says. Do you, you think that Quran is a science book? So you are saying to me, okay, so you are saying to me, science, science, science is right. So, okay, so look, look at you, look at you. you. I showed you the hadith, Muhammad saying, if the women have orgasm first, you say this is hadith, it's not true, it's not correct. Now we are showing you Quran, what they excuse? Do you think the Quran is a book of science? So if Allah do not know how the baby is made, why he's open his mouth? Is Allah is lying here about the baby is made? Science. This is very, very basic, you know? What basic? No. Creation of no, 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 hold on. Okay, now Allah give us details. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood, this is dead blood. And then the clot, we made yeah. it into a, to, into a lump. And then we made yeah. made out of the lump of bones. And then we closed the bones with the flesh. Is that what science says? Yes, of course. Well, show me how you want to read and go. Very detailed. It's much more detailed than that. <laughs> this is an optimistic thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. So if you think okay, okay. It's a science book, okay. you are wrong. Are you are you married? You are, are you wrong. are you married? Are you are you married? Are you married? Are you are you are you Muslim religion is are you married? Are you married? Pardon? Are you married? What is married? Married, married. Do you have a wife? Do you have four wives or one wife? Do you have any? I have one wife. Okay. Very beautiful do, one. Okay. Do your do your wife no, do you do your I wife four wives. do your wife have it's a sperm? I don't believe in four wives. I don't believe in polygamy. It's not even written. No problem. The Quran. No, it's in the, no, it's in the Quran. No, it's in the Quran. You are an idiot. Pardon? It's in the Quran. What do you mean? It's in the Quran. It's in the Quran. No, no. It's not in the. It's not in the Quran. If, it's not in Surah An Nisa. What if I show you? What, what if I show you? It's not that. What if you I show can you? Only marry in An Nisa verse two. You can only marry those who are your slaves. What if I show you? Eh. Okay. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Mm. Here we go. Chapter okay. four, verse number three. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for calling me. Read it. Read, read it for us. I am. Go ahead. It. Okay. Read it for us. <laughs> Thank you. Read it. You are showing your anger now. No, please, please be patient with Go, me. No problem. I'm very patient with you. Trust me. I have much respect for you, you know. I because have no... you are exposing this Muslim Muslim paradox, you know. No, I'm Muslims. exposing you too. You are not different. You are the same that, like them. But but, but Muslims, they have ranks in stupidity. You are one of them. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. Most of them are stupid. Uh, you too. You too. No, you too. Read with me. <laughs> chapter, chapter 4, verse number 3. Go ahead. Yeah, Surah an I know. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with that. Okay. Uh, chapter 4, Surah an mm. Which verse? What? Verse 2, right? Verse number 3. Chapter 4, verse number 3. Oh, yeah, number 3. Number 3, okay? Why in a hiptum? You do not know Arabic, so don't read in Arabic. Don't read in Arabic. You do not know Arabic. Read for me in English. Go ahead. You do not know, you do not know how to read it. Listen, Abdul, listen. I want you to tell me in English what it says there. Go ahead. Don't waste my time. And to fear of not being fair to hmm. the to the orphans uh -huh. that marry them. This is about the orphans. Okay, do you must marry orphans? The orphans are without a parent. They do you, are orphans. Do you marry or, do, your, do you marry orphans? Do you marry orphans? Yes, this according to Quran. But orphans are kids. Is only allowed for orphans okay, who, who is an orphan? Who? What the word orphan mean? Orphan means a person who is without parents. A person or a child? Like me. A I person? Parents. I'm an orphan. You are an orphan. You are an adult. You are a man. Orphan is for a kid. No, I'm an orphan. <laughs> no, you are not. An orphan is somebody who have nobody to take care of. That he because he needs yeah, care. He can take care of me. Yeah, that's when you're a child. Are you a child? How old are you? I'm 50. You are what? 50 50 years. I'm 50 years old. 50 years old and you are an orphan? You must be crazy. Orphan is for ch children only. <laughs> no, you believe them 
Muhammad is an open, right? So he's an open until he... When he was a child, right? when he was a child. And no, I don't believe in all this garbage that Muhammad was an orphan. I believe that Muhammad, nobody knows his father. Except me. Okay, okay whatever, mm. whatever, whatever. Okay, mm. this is what, if you fear that you cannot be fair okay. to your orphan... Uh -huh. So you marry kids, orphans, okay. Whoever you wish mm. from that orphans, okay. two, three, four, this is what being uh, diverted is being uh, happening. Diverting that the Muslim scholars is diverting. You said to me, it's not in the Quran. You said to me, it's not in the Quran. It says two and a three and four of your choice. So, what you said to me is not in the Quran. The orphans, how many orphans can not, you see? Not hold on. No, the second part is not about orphan. The first one about orphan. It says if you cannot be just with them, which means marrying the orphan, having sex with the children, then marry women. Do yeah. you see the word women? Women are not orphans. Marry women of your choice. Okay. No, no, no. It is the continuation of No, the, no, uh, no, uh, no. If you fear you shall you not be able to be no just with the orphan, then go to the second choice. No. Abdul, it's in the front of you. Abdul, it's in the front of you. It says. Stupidities. Al Yatama, the orphans. Guys, do you see how much patience you need? You didn't. You, you an Arab, but you don't know what it's all about. Okay, what if what if we go? Okay, let us let us let us do this. Let us let us let us do this. Let us do this. If I open the seer of any scholar. Yeah. Which one he will agree with, with don't, me or you? Don't talk about tafsir, okay? Don't talk about tafsir. That is so how you are saying to me, I am an Arab, I do not know what it's mean, but all tafsir agree with me. Human understanding. So, I don't believe in tafsir. Okay, so how come the scholars agree with me, but not with you? I are don't believe too? the scholars, they are so stupid, you know? Ah, all the Muslim scholars are stupid and you are the only smart ass yeah. in the world. Mm, okay. I'm so, not, okay, no problem. I, 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 let us go. Let us go. Let us go to what you say. I, skip, skip this. Skip this because you are idiots. Listen, I, listen. Okay. So, does it say two or three or four? You said to me it's something the Quran to marry four. Does it say two or three or four? Yeah, two or three. Yeah, four. But you, you said it's Quran three doesn't or say three or four. One. But you say it doesn't. You say it. It doesn't say in the Quran four. No, no. The problem now is you are marrying. A free woman. I mean, a woman who is having a parents. You know, you cannot marry more than one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Have you read a verse, a verse seventeen, verse seventeen, or verse twenty from An Nisa? You read that. You want me to read it for you? You want me to read verse? Okay, 20? let me ask you. you. For you. Let me ask you. How many wives your prophet have? Okay, verse twenty. I will answer you later. Shut up. How many? How many what? wives? How many wives what? your prophet what? have? How many wives your prophet no. have? Oh, how many wives your prophet here? No, let me tell you. Shut up. Verse 20. Shut up. Quran Don't change the topic. How many how many if wives you your prophet? If a Muslim one, he can marry only change. one. How many wives your prophet? How many wives your prophet he have? Do you know the the the, the one? <laughs> Are you going to answer or not? How many wives your no, prophet you he have? Most of the wives that he have he have uh, he had is slaves. You know slaves? Uh -huh. So in Muhammad he owns slaves, okay, he captured people. Nice the guy, okay. No, no, okay, it is, it is your point of view, I don't care. Uh -huh. The wives Muhammad, they, they are 13, from what I know they are 13 wives. 15 wives, okay, how the many? Only, the wives, okay, first uh, her, is, his first, is first a, wife is... Is, is, is Aisha is a slave? Yeah. Is Aisha... Is he married? Is Aisha married is, a slave. Is, a is a slave? Is Umm Salama is a slave? Which is slave. The, uh, how many of them are slaves? All of them? No, no. Um, the Khadija is first wife who's already passed away, and then <laughs> the second wife is. Uh, hold on, hold on. We have another like idiot. Three. We have another idiot. He's trying to call. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I will call you back. Just give me ten minutes. I have another idiot. He's trying to call. Go, hold on. Let us give a, ch a ch chance for the other one. Yeah. The one he is hanging up on me. I'm trying to call him. Hey, Mr. One, how are you? Hello? 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 He's not answering. Let us call him back. Hello? Are you there?
What happened? I'm calling him again. I see him also. Are you there? Ah, he did not say inshallah before he answered. This is why it's not working. Are you there? Okay, so should we switch for the other one? No, I cannot hear you. You can hear me, but I cannot hear you. Restart your uh, Skype, my friend. Restart your Skype and try to call me. <coughs> All right. Mr. One, he is going to call us. He is the one who yesterday ran away and he has changed the topic from his prophet copying the Jews to talk about monotheism. The pagan Muslim talking about monotheism. The one who kisses stones, licks stones, stones in the shape of a vagina, talking about monotheism. They bow to a stone. They go around the stone. They touch a stone and they believe the stone erased their sin. And yet they call you pagan. And not only that, he agreed that his prophet was quoting the Talmud. Can you believe it? Not quoting God of the Jews. He was quoting Rabbi, learning from Rabbi about his religion. Let us call the other Abdul until uh, oh, he is coming back. Hello? Hello? Well, your voice is not working, my friend. Restart your Skype. Restart. You have something wrong. Restart your machine. Restart. Totally restart. Not only. We have a Muslim trying to call it a serious guy. <coughs> Okay, this guy is in the bye bye. He took a hike. Let us see another one. We are trying to find a Muslim who can, you know, who knows what he's talking about. Don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Don't call me. Don't call me. Only Muslims. Only Muslims. Only Muslims. Okay, this guy is trying to. Let us call him again. <clears throat> All right, your voice is working now. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Everybody hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Here. Did you hear your brother so, uh, explain how the baby is what? made in the Quran? What do you think about how the baby is made? You heard your brother, what he's saying? No, what? To uh, add something. I called you yesterday, uh, you know, regarding the moment in the grave. I gave you uh, evidence of, uh, you know, I mentioned Abram's bosom, in which you clearly don't know what it is. Let me read it. You mentioned what? 16, 22, 23. You, you, you mentioned what? It says, you mentioned, you, the beggar you mentioned what? The angels you mentioned what? Much. You mentioned what? Repeat again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mentioned what? Abraham's bosom. What is that? Luke, no, I do not know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see? Don't, don't be like a recording machine. Is that a Talmud? This is the Bible. Luke 16, this is, 22, 23. Okay, hold on. states... Okay, hold on. So now we go to the Bible. In, in Luke, in Luke 16, it says what? Being tormented. Hold on. Luke, Luke 16 says what? Luke 16, 22, 23. Go read it for yourself. Read it, read it. Go ahead. No, no. Not to read it, right? No, you read it. Go ahead. What it says? Okay. Uh, it says the time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abram's bosom. Hmm. The rich man also died and was buried in Hades 
where he was being tormented. He looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by, uh, this, by his bosom. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are reading what? So, do you know what you are, Abraham's bosom means? You are reading what? You are reading what? Again. Because we want everybody to laugh at you. What? You are reading what? I'm reading the Bible, Luke 16, 22, 23. Okay, read for us 16, 20 what? What? 16, Luke 26, 16, 20 what? 22, 23. All right, go ahead. Which state, which state Abraham's bosom. Okay. Go ahead. So my question is, do you know what that is? No, I know for sure. You are the one who knows better than me, for sure, too. Yeah. Well, you know what it is. Can no, you, I do not know. You tell me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. No, tell me. Finish. Your, finish. You, you say I do always interrupt you, and you are the smart person. This is about the punishment of the grave, correct? This is about the, this is about the punishment of the grave. I gave you an example. No, you did not give me an example. No, you did not example. Where is where is the, where is the punishment of the grave? Where is the punishment of the grave? There. Go ahead. Read. I'm thinking, why did this rich man... Listen, uh, listen, listen, don't be stupid, don't be stupid. You said to me, this is about the punishment of the grave. Show me where it says that. I'm using the same argument you use. No, no, I'm not. No, don't use the same argument. I'm saying to you, how what, how, how this can be the same argument? Where is the punishment of the grave there? Listen, listen, listen. Let's not over talk because it's not... Uh, uh, this is why I'm asking you, don't repeat yourself, please. Where is the punishment of the grave there? Go ahead. Why was this man buried in Hades, and then he was also being tormented. Can you explain to me? He will be tormented anyway. He will be tormented in hell. In, in hell. No, 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 tell me, why was he being tormented? Like, for you, for example, you do not believe in my, the my, my, uh, uh, No, when, I, when I'm Muslim, when I'm, Muslim, when I'm Muslim, he speak about something. Do he understand what he's saying? Who is the, who is the one who is tormented? Go ahead. What are you saying, man? I'm giving you an example. Uh, no problem. Is that an example or this is a real story? Is that an example or this is a real story? What? Is that an example or a real story? Is that a parable or a real story about a person who died, they took him to heaven, he saw Abraham, etc. Is that a real story? Do you believe in Abraham's bosom? My friend, I'm asking you, is that a real story? Is, uh, okay, okay. Let me rephrase. Do you believe in Hades? Don't don't change the topic. I'm asking you, is that a real story? I'm asking you. Do you I'm, believe in this? I'm story? asking you, is that a real story? Because I gave you two examples yesterday. No, you are not. Example. No, you are not. You were quoting for me. You were quote you were quoting for me. Okay. You were quoting for me the Talmud. Say the church father. You say the church father and you start quoting the Talmud. And now you are quoting for me Luke sixteen. Is that is that a real story? Listen, listen. Okay. Mm. Let's not overtalk. You told me, give me evidence from the Jews, because you said the Jews don't believe this. No. I gave you evidence. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. First of all, I did not say, I did not say, hold on, hold on. It's recorded. It's there. We can play it again. Do you, do you want me to play it again? What? Do you want me to play the recording again? Sure, play it again. Yeah, I said the Jews don't believe. I said they don't believe. Nobody believe that these two angels will come and hit you with the hammer. No, no, you were saying the Jews do not believe in torment of the grave. No, I, I, I you, no, you, no, 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 no. I was saying from the beginning, your prophet is copying the no, Jews. Listen, your prophet is stealing I, from the Jews. Hold on, hold on. I, I was I, saying, listen, hold on, can hold I, on. I, do you want me to play it for you again? Hold on. Do you want me to play the video again for you? Can I get the Jew? Yes or no? Can I play the video for you again? So everybody will see that you are can lying. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No okay, problem. here we go. Let, let me tell you. Oh, no, no, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk, no, don't talk. Uh, everybody will hear you talking. Here we go. This is your video. This is your, this is your video. This is your video. I will play it for you in this in a second, and let us hear what you said. I will take it actually. I will play it for you in Skype so you can hear it too. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's go here. This is when you call me. I think in the minute. 105, let's see. Do you accept the Talmud? Yes or no? Oh, scholar, right? You are priceless. You are priceless. No, I'm not, wait, wait. I'm not a scholar. You are a scholar. I'm not a scholar. How I can be a scholar? I have to be. Is that you or the other person here? Can you replay it? Let me hear. Illiterate, who do not know how to write, how to read. I have to read the word Siraj, uh, Siraj, 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 Siraj. You know, I have to skip the word moon as I mean hijab while reading the Quran. He corrupted the Quran, he took the word, the whole word moon, and he said, Saraj, 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 whatever. No, I am not a scholar, you are a scholar. 
No, but uh, why why do I need to show you hadith if you're a scholar, you know about the... Yeah, 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 I learned from you, you are the one who needs... Okay, so this one after you. you. Here we go. I think, okay, I think, I think this is you here, okay, I think... Okay, hold on, hold on. I think this is you. Listen, listen to yourself. Hello? Yes, what's your name, so I need to, to call you. I called you earlier. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's watch your name, my friend, so I can call you by your name, if you don't mind. My name is Wan. Your name is Wan? What does that mean? Your name is Wan, so your daddy called you Wan? Yeah, that's me. No, no, no. Mm. My name is Wan. Okay, but your name is Wan. Or is that too difficult? Mute YouTube, please. I made the sound for you come from the microphone here. Do not need to, to play YouTube. So we don't have the okay, reverse. No okay. That's for you. So that's no, okay. But, but, no, I can't. I can't. But it's very hard for me because because uh, I don't speak Arabic. Right so I'm, I'm back. Okay. So what do you want to suppose? Go. Yeah, so I found the evidence that actually uh, the rabbis hmm. also believe that there is a punishment in the grave. Thank you very much. My question is, the rabbis, 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 the rabbis. Is that you who said the rabbis? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because oh, no, this is okay, hold on. The, this is not from the Bible. Listen, no, no, you want the truth because this woman, Jewish woman, right, mm -hmm. was a Jew, right? Right. Or was she, was she not a Jew? Yeah. Tell me. Mm -hmm. She's she a, a Jew, right? Okay. Yeah. So you want proof, right? Okay. I will um, read what I found, okay? I know what you found. This is not from the Old Testament, my friend. This is from the Talmud, which is... Thank you very much, the Rabbi, the Rabbi, the Rabbi, the bit of the bit of the Talmud. We believe that a soul will be tortured, tortured, and even, 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 hold on, hold on, look, look at you, look at you before you, look at you, look at you before you read it with a soul. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me show you. Do you deny the church fathers? Listen, 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 no, 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 the church fathers will say that. Stop lying, stop lying. You see, the church father, you are in the mood, right? And actually, this is coming from what I was saying, the whole video I was saying, Muhammad is copying from the Jews. Uh, miscommunication, doesn't matter. So my question... No, it does matter. No, it does matter. It does matter. So, so it does matter. Your prophet was copying from the Jews. Do you agree? Let us confirm this before we continue, my friend. Was your prophet copying from the Jews? Let me get you an Orthodox Jew, okay? And we will see, okay? If he's right regarding the torment of the grave, then you are wrong. So the rabbi, uh, the rabbi is an orthodox. Hold on, the rabbi is an orthodox Jew. So the rabbi, okay, where? He, hold on, hold on. So, so do you agree? Do you agree that you're a prophet? He was copying the Jewish women who came to his house. Yes or no? Your Jesus was he a Jew? Listen, no, he was not. He's the God of the Jews. Not why did why was he sent? To the sheep of Israel. Why was his mother Mary? Because this is the only because this is the only one who believed in him at that time. So he came to his sheep first. That makes sense, right? Isn't it your God in the Quran says we never send a messenger except to people who speak the language and he is from the people? So he came to the people who they believe in him, waiting for him. So he will not come right away to a person he never heard of him. The Jews are the one waiting for him. So he came. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Listen, you are trying to you are trying to change the topic. Did your prophet he never mention that let, let, let us make it simple? Did your prophet mention the punishment of the grave before that woman she said the story? Why was he circumcised? Listen, like the listen. Jews, you why your prophet was not circumcised? Why was Jesus? Why is your prophet? Why was was your why your prophet was not circumcised? What? Why your prophet never been circumcised? He was circumcised. Give me show evidence. me. Give show me. Flames. Okay, a, cha a challenge for you. Nowhere it says that. Nowhere in the whole Islamic books that the prophet was circumcised. I challenge you. Show me. Go ahead. Hey, show me, show me, go ahead, show me. No, you show me. It's not exist, it's not exist. You just said that Jesus was circumcised because he's born of the Jews. His, his, the family he is growing with, they, they are Jews, so they were circumcised according to the law. Now I'm asking you, you Muslim, you claim to be Abrahamic. Why Muhammad was not circumcised? Okay, can I speak? Go ahead. Okay. Let's not over talk because if we want to have a debate with Ekshman... We, we don't want to over talk, but we want, we want reference. Can you show me a proof that your prophet was circumcised? You said he was. You said lying. Okay. You, mean, you said to me lying, he was. Can you show me a reference? Christian Perez, you made the claim 
So provide me evidence. That how I story. can how I can prove something never mentioned? You, you, you see how smart you are. That guys prove to me prove to me that Muhammad have one leg, but nobody said Muhammad have one leg. So I'm, how I'm going to say he have one leg? So you are you are you are the one who said that he was circumcised. You are sure? Show me. So see, and that's what that's funny because you literally proved my point. I prove your point. Show me. Yeah. Where Muhammad was circumcised. Not circumcised. Show me. Go ahead. Because here we go. The Bible says when the Messiah he did that, it says there. So the Quran should mention that to you. Where in the Quran we find that Muhammad is circumcised. You know what? Forget about the Quran. Show me a hadith. Just to make it easy for you. Show me a hadith saying that Muhammad after the age of 40, he did circumcise. Go ahead. Okay, so listen. You made the claim first, so the burden of proof. Ah, I made the claim. No, I made the claim, and you are the one who answered me saying, Yes, he was circumcised, he's sure. So show us the story where. <laughs> so let us go back. You, you know, here you have no you have no clue what you are no, talking no, about, and everybody is laughing at you. Yeah. So Muhammad never been circumcised. You have to admit, otherwise, you have to show me where it happened. Can you explain? Is uh, Abdul Muttalib. What was Abdul Muttalib then uh, circumcised? What? Why was uh, his grandfather Abdul Muttalib uh, circumcised him? To the uh, you know, all of his sons were circumcised. Uh, so, are you saying Abdul Muttalib was circumcised and Muhammad was circumcised because of Abdul Muttalib? I said his grandfather Abdul Muttalib uh -huh. circumcised him according to the Arabs. You mm -hmm. know. I can even give you the source. Okay, give me, give me the source. Give me the source where it says Muhammad was circumcised. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show me where it says Abdul Abdul Muttalib circumcised, circumcised Muhammad. Did you hear what I said? I just heard you. You said what you are saying has nothing to do with my topic. I'm asking you. Did Muhammad be circumcised in any way? I don't care by who. Was he? Show me the reference. Again. I give you again you have no reference again so now let's go back to zero let us go back to zero let us let us make it simple let us make it simple you went to look you get me nothing there this is a this is a book of parables speaking about parable you went to the Talmud you went to the Talmud and you said to me the Jews Muhammad is copying the Jews but this is my this is my point Muhammad is a thief copying the Jews you, you, you will talk I, but I want you to answer before you before before you start talking because you talk forever you say nothing my friend listen can you make it simple can you make it simple please did Muhammad mention the punishment of the grave did Muhammad mention the punishment of the grave ever before this woman mentioned it? Can I repeat? Okay. There is different opinions on the matter, okay? There no. are actually three. There's no there's no there's no opinion. I want your opinion. I want the correct opinion and you have to prove it. Don't tell me there is one opinion, no, okay. two opinion, three opinion. No, tell me tell me the one you agree with. Tell me the, the tell me the one you agree with and give me the proof. Go ahead. Okay. First, I will give you the opinions. Then I give you my. Opinion. No, don't give me. The, no, don't give me the opinion. You are just trying to waste my time. Just trying to waste my time. I want you to prove me wrong. You see, see, you are a person who don't want to answer. I will give you opinion. What do we do? The opinion. Why Muslims they have three opinion about anything? I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? Okay. So is Muhammad the prophet, or we have a three opinion? One of us he say Muhammad was the prophet. The other one he says Muhammad was a prophet. The other one he says he was a messenger, not a prophet. So what's wrong with you? Even this one needs three opinion. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Do you have any proof that Muhammad he mentioned this story about the punishment of grave? Listen. Don't waste my time. I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. Please. What do you mean wasting your time? I'm, See, you're actually afraid because. So why you don't give me the answer? I want an answer. Did Muhammad mention this story about punishment of the grave before he heard it from the Jew? Hello. Yeah. I ask you, did Muhammad mention this story ever before he heard it the first time from the Jew? Or this is my the first time? He heard it first time huh? from the Jew. What? That's my question to you. What? Hello? I said, are you sure that he did not mention it before uh, in another hadith? No. Not I, explicitly. Okay, way. show me. Go ahead. Get me, Buster. Go ahead. No, no, I'm telling you a question. Well, isn't, asking, isn't, isn't it you yesterday, you sent me a, a, a hadith? Showing that the Prophet, when he heard that's, that, he trembled? That's somebody else. Hello? Okay. That's someone else. Okay, somebody else. But the hadith says that Muhammad was trembled when he heard this. And here you see Aisha confirming she never heard this before. This is why she said to the herd, to the woman, you are a liar. Did, the, did Aisha say to the women, to the Jewish women, you are a liar, or she did not? Sorry? 
Did Aisha say to the Jewish women, you are a liar? When she mentioned, okay, so for, okay. why Aisha, she mentioned that, but Aisha, she is a first head witness. She accompanied she, Muhammad wherever he, he go. So she, she never heard this before. You agree? Okay. Okay. Can I rephrase what I said? Go ahead. This is in Sunan and Nisa, mm. uh, 1308. Okay. Mm. This is a Sahih Hadith. So you okay. cannot say, oh, it's weak or Hassan or whatever. All right. It doesn't matter. Mm. It says, it was narrated that Aisha said, I asked the Messenger of Allah mm. about the torment of the grave. And he said, yes, the torment of the grave is real. Aisha said, after that, I never saw the Messenger of Allah uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. uh, offer uh, any um, uh, prayer, but he would uh, seek refuge with uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the torment of the grave. All right. Do you mean this one? No, I mean the one when the Jewish woman, she came to the house. And she told her, Aisha, she said to her, this is a lie. You are a liar. I will put it for you in the screen in a minute. Yeah, so you can, can you go to sunnah.com? Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I am in sunnah.com right now. Right, hold on. Go to sunnah.com? Yeah, hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay, hold on. Because I do not have the stream on, so... Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay, so there's actually another... Uh, this is the one you are mentioning, actually. This is, a, this is the one you are mentioning about a Jewish woman. She came to her and she asked her. Let us go to the second one. Hold on. In the one, Hold on. Uh, I, don't, I don't... Wait. Uh, here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih. Again, a Jewish woman, she came to Muhammad, she came to Aisha, and she mentioned Azab al-Qabr, and then we continue. Uh, Adab al-Qabr, actually. Adab al-Qabr, yeah. Adab al-Qabr. Uh-huh. thought you were Arab, man, come on. Huh? It's Adab al-Qabr. Adab, Adab. Uh, did, you, did you correct, did you see the video of uh, uh, Mimi Hijab misquoting the Quran with Siraj, and he even missed a word in the Quran? And he was debating apostate prophet. Did you want to make a video about it? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? He, he, was, he did read the whole verse wrong and even he skipped a word in the Quran. How come you Muslim Which don't make a video about him? Qamar, he skipped the word Qamar. Anyway, let's go here. Hold on. Uh, uh, what is the hadith? Okay, hold on. See, all of those hadith is about Adab al-Qabr. You know, I mean, this is crazy. And by the way, when you say Adab and Azab, you know that the, the yeah. Prophet, he received the Quran in, he received like, the Quran in seven, he received the Quran in seven dialect. Didn't, didn't you, didn't you Muslim agree that the Quran received in different seven dialect? What is seven dialect? Can Hitler, can Hitler get redemption in the grave? Well, if Muhammad can get, Muhammad, you know, uh, Hitler will I mean, get. I'm speaking about Hitler. Can Hitler get redemption uh, from the Christian perspective uh, redemption in his own grave redemption will happen only if you repent before you die and this is upon god approved sure not upon me uh, this is not my this is not my cho this is not my choice don't change the topic this doesn't change the topic so did aisha did aisha did, did aisha listen did aisha say to the women you are a liar yes or no i'm not a liar you're the liar i'm saying i'm reading the hadith i'm not calling you a liar i'm saying did aisha she said to the Jewish woman, you are a liar. Uh, actually, she said, I don't believe you. Like, I have, the, I have another hadith which, uh, 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 you know, uh, goes deeper on it. It's in uh, Sunan Nisa, okay. 2067. Okay. Get, get, get that one. To, oh. uh, Hold on. Let me send to you in the chat. Okay? Hold on. Let us show all of them, actually. Here we go. It goes deeper, so it's actually, it says, two of the old Jewish women of Medina came to me and said, the people of the grave are tormented uh, in their graves, but I did not believe them, and I did not believe them, and uh, and I did not want to believe them. Then, left and the uh, messenger of uh, Allah entered upon me and said, O oh, messenger of Allah, two of the old Jewish uh, women of Medina said that the people of the graves are tormented in their graves. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they spoke the truth. They are tormented in a manner that all animals can hear. Okay, thank I you. I never saw him offer 
any salah, but he sought refuge with Allah from the torment of the grave. Okay, so thank why you. Why did he do this? Because he, um, you know, he knows the uh, hmm. uh, what's it called the uh, seriousness of the torment of the grave. Okay. Whenever every Muslim is done praying, we say Allahumma. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Listen, 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 listen. So, the, the, why, why Aisha? Why Aisha? She accused him of lying. You said everybody heard you. She, okay, uh, she accused the woman of lying. He said, but I did not believe them, and I did not believe them, and I uh, did not want to believe them. So she did not say. I can read. This is in Sunan Nisa. Okay. Sahih by the way. Okay. No problem. Here we go. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Oh, read with me carefully in the screen. I don't have the stream on. Let me see. Wait. Oh. Okay. Uh... Okay. I think. Okay. This, this one, right? Yeah. He said, Aisha reported they came two old women from the old. Uh, where is this? Uh, Sahih, uh, can you... This is Sahih Muslim. Go, this is Sahih Muslim. Go down. No, no, go down. It's Bukhari, Nasai. I just told you, Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim, uh -huh. 586. Muslim? Yes. Okay. If you want Sahih Bukhari, here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari. Hold on. If you want Sahih Bukhari, if it's more accurate for you, no problem. Here we go. No, no, no problem. I was just wondering. No that. problem. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is Sahih Bukhari. Can I, can I Read, can read. I ask you, can you oh, don't ask go me. Upside, don't ask me. No, don't go. ask me. Don't ask me. Please read. So two old ladies they enter upon Aisha, and Aisha so, uh, she accused them of lying. To the search bar. Huh? Aisha. To the search bar. Aisha she accused him Hadith number six three six six. Search bar above. Above. Huh? Go to the search bar. Like go uh, above above. To the search bar. Let me go above. Yeah, to the bar type in torment grave jews and you see seven hadith regarding this issue which okay read uh, this one for me first okay no problem torment hadith a grave okay no problem read for me this one okay i have my own uh, hadith on uh... okay okay so you said there was sunnah uh, sunnah nisa right or no this is Bukhari. this is al-bukhari Bukhari, Bukhari. Hmm. Uh... You speak Arabic, that will make it easier for you, for, for us. It says here, إِنَّ أَهْلَ الْقُبُورِ يُعَذَّبُونَ فِي قُبُورِهِمْ فَكَذَّبَتَهُمَا وَلَمْ Read the rest. She said to turn them, what? You are a liar. Do you agree? Okay, so in these seven hadith which I found, no problem. There's no mention of my friend, lying. my friend, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, this is Sahih al-Bukhari in front of us. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. I'm telling you, go to the search bar on sunnah.com. Doesn't matter. This is sunnah.com. This is sunnah.com. Hadith number 6366. And you speak Arabic. Does it say she accused him of lying? Okay, I found one in... My friend, is it is uh, what, what's wrong with Muslims? What's wrong with Muslims? Is this one is Sahih or not? Is Sahih Bukhari is a lie? Can can I speak? You are speaking. Why do you keep jumping like a monkey from a place to a place? Why we keep changing hadith like a monkeys? Does this does it say in the story or or Christian Prince fabricating? Does it say that she accused him of lying? Yes or no? Christian Prince, can we be respectful? My friend, I, you, you, I'm Muslim talking about respect. You call us pigs, you call us monkeys, you call us liars, you call us filthy, you call us najis, you call us kuffar, you call us animals, and you speak about respect. I'm asking you, does it say she accused him of lying? Yes or no? Take the example of Jesus. Be respectful, okay? Yes, I am respectful. I can call you a hypocrite too. I can call you a son of the devil too, the same as Jesus did. So I am not even calling you as Jesus did. So you are saying to me, be respectful like Jesus, but don't be idiot like Muhammad. Thank you very much for saying that. Now, does it say... In the front of your eyes, no, no. that Aisha she accused him of lying. Yes or no? Said to me, potato, donkey, but, uh, Abdul. So I'm not calling you a donkey because Quran call you a donkey. The Quran says the same as those who carry books in their backs, but they are donkeys. Want me to show you the verse? You almost them you carry a book in your back, but you don't know it. So the Quran call you donkey, not me. Okay. So I found it. Can I read it? Okay, it says it was narrated from Yahya bin Said 
that Amra taught him. Read the hadith in front of you. Why you are not reading this hadith? Jewish women came to her and said, May Allah protect you from the uh, torment of the grave. And uh, Aisha said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, will people be tormented in the graves? The Messenger of Allah, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sought refuge with Allah. Aisha said, The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, went out and the sun became eclipsed. We went out to another room and the women uh, gathered with us. The uh, Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, came to us and at that time, uh, of, uh, of, of forenoon, he stood for a long time, and then he bowed for a long time, and then he raised his head and stood for a shorter time mm. than the first one, then mm. he bowed for a shorter time than the first one, mm. then he prostrated, then he stood up for the second raqa, mm. uh, and uh, raqa, and did the same again, except that this bowing uh, and prostrating were shorter than in the first raqa, mm. then he prostrated and the, uh, and the eclipse had ended, then he had finished, he sat on the mimbar, and one of the things he said was, the people will be tried in the graves, like the trial of the, of the Dajjal. Mm. Aisha said, after that, we, we, we used to hear him seeking refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the torment of the grave. Thank you. So you confirm what I said. Muhammad, he never mentioned that until the Jewish woman, she said that. Before he never did. So Muhammad is a thief. He's copying what the stories of the fairy tales of the rabbi. The rabbis, the rabbis, they have fairy tale stories. Muhammad he carry, and you are the one who did read. You are the one who did read the hadith for me, confirming what I said. Did the Jews, did the Jews um, also believe in Allah? Yes or no? So, I think, no, they don't believe in Allah. No, they don't, don't change the topic. I'm asking you now. No, no. So you confirm to me. You agree with me that Muhammad he never mentioned this until he heard the Jews. This is all my story. Why Muhammad never mentioned? And look, and look, you just you start saying that Muhammad start acting crazy, praying crazy for what? Why Muhammad is acting crazy? Why Muhammad suddenly is praying suddenly different differently just because of the punishment of the grave? What happened yesterday? He did not do that. The day before it, he did not do that. The year before it, he did not do that. Why after the Jewish woman she said that to him suddenly he is so scared of the punishment of the grave? Okay, can I, can I speak? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so this is part of wahi. What wahi? Do you know what wahi means? The, the women, she just, just she, she, no, it's no, the no, women no, who told no, you, no, it is you who said no, to me, it's you who said to me no. that Muhammad, he, Muhammad, he start acting doing this after he heard this from the Jewish women. And he called the hadith for me. Okay, so do you believe, uh, do, do you know what uh, wahi means? No, I do not know wahi. According to Muslims, you will be squeezed three times like mayonnaise. What wahi mean? Listen, guys, guys, he does not know what wahi means. Wahi no, I do not know. Revelation. According to Christianity, according to Christianity, wahi is inspiration by God, which means God do not need to send you an angel. God, he speaks to you directly. Muhammad never received wahi because wahi is inspiration. Do you agree? It's divine revelation. No, so wahi, wahi is inspiration. Wahi is inspiration. It cannot be delivered. If it's a delivery, the messenger delivering a message, this is not an inspiration. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I will uh, um... oh, 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 listen, oh, don't change the topic. So you agree that Muhammad never mentioned, you quote from your hadith, you work so hard, you look for a hadith saying that Muhammad never mentioned that story until he heard the Jewish women. What is that telling us? Can I, can I can I speak? Can I respond? You are responding already. Did you? you isn't you who caught for me the hadith? I gave you the time to read the whole hadith, and now it's time for you to answer. Your prophet, you agree? Your prophet never mentioned that story until he heard the Jewish woman. Correct? Listen, listen Christian Prince. Hmm. Can I respond? Go ahead. Okay, I will read the Sharh, and the Sharh is an explanation of a scholar regarding this. Okay. Ah. I will read the Sharh. Do you accept the Sharh? Can I speak? Let me read. No, no, no. We have to make an agreement before you read the Sharh. Do you accept the Sharh? I want you to say yes. Yes, I. Uh, so, you, so you accept the seer? Are you a man of your word? Are you a man of your word? Who? So he says. Who? The torment of the grave. Do you accept? Do you accept Sharh Ibn Kathir? Which one is more higher, Ibn Kathir or Uthman? Which one is more? Uh, I'm asking you, on, do you, uh, do you accept Sharh Ibn Kathir? Do you accept Sharh Ibn Kathir? Can I respond? I am asking you too. Do you accept Sharh Ibn Kathir? Which one is higher? Ibn Uthaymin or Ibn Kathir? 
Sharah regarding the torment of the grave mm. by uh, Ibn Uthaymin, rahimahullah. Okay. Can I respond? Ibn Kathir, the, 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 okay. But do, do you, you, you accept uh, only him? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. So he says, the torment of the grave is one of the matters of the unseen. And the unseen is the barzakh. How many people in these graves are being tormented, but we do not realize it, and how many of their neighbors are being blessed with the door opened for them to paradise, hmm. but we do not realize it. Hmm. What is beneath the grave, uh, graves is uh, known only to the knower of the unseen, which is God. Hmm. The torment of the grave is one, uh, one of the matters of the unseen, hmm. and were it not for the revelation that came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, we would not know anything about it. Okay. What is the revelation Hence, about it? What is the revelation? Hold on. So, did, did, the, did the Sheikh say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are, are, are tormented in the grave, she was alarmed until the Prophet, peace be upon him, came and she told him, and he confirmed that, that Allah uh, may uh, cause whomsoever he wills of his slaves to see that, that uh, uh, as he caused his Prophet, peace be upon him, to see the two men who were being <coughs> punished, one for going about spreading malicious gossip, and the other for not taking precaution to protect himself from murder. So the reasons why this uh, uh, is one of the matters of the unseen are as follows. Allah, the most merciful of those who show mercy mm. for it, where uh, to see the torment of the grave, mm. this would uh, make our lives a misery. Because if a person were to know that his father or brother or son or spouse or relative is being punished in the grave uh -huh. and he's not able to save him, uh -huh. And then he would be distressed and unable to relax. Uh, so this is a blessing from Allah. Okay. Second of all, it would be a scandal for no, the no, one, one, one by 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 one. Don't, don't, don't be away the station. You see, I allow you to talk one by one because I understand. So Allah did not tell you, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. I want you to explain this part, this part. Explain to what we are smart. We are not this part. So Allah, he did not want to want you to know that this is will happen to you in the grave. So you will not be stressed. Are you saying that? Okay, first of all, in Surah Ghafir. Don't change, don't change, don't change. Give me the answer, give me the answer, give me the answer. Radio machine, radio no, machine. Listen, no, listen. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. So you say that Allah did not tell us about the punishment I'm of the grave, the so we will not be stressed about what will happen to our parents, exactly. our brothers, our sisters. Is that correct? Guys, this man is unfair. He does not want to finish me my points. No, I am, I am having a conversation. You are reading an article. Right. We cannot do that. You have to explain to me. I'm asking you a question, please. I'm not stopping you from okay, talking. Please. I'm just asking you, I want to understand. Okay. You are the teacher now, please. So I'm asking you, sure. you just say that Allah sure. did not tell us about the punishment of the grave because he don't want us to be stressed. Correct? Okay, Christian Prince. Christian Prince. Do you agree? Can I teach my points? Is that what you say? Okay. No, 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 no. You see, you, you, don't, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. You are, you are being a coward. You are being a coward. You don't know how to explain what you just said. You do not even dare to explain what you just said. You don't dare to explain what you said. Why you don't explain it? Explain it to me. I am not asking you to stop. I'm not asking you to leave. I'm asking you to explain. You said Allah did not tell us because this is an act of mercy, correct? Tell me the question. What was your question? The question is, you said that Allah did not tell us about the punishment of the grave because he don't want us to, to, to know what will happen to our brothers, our sisters, our parents in the grave. This is an act of mercy. Is that, is that what you said? I said Allah is the most merciful uh -huh. of those who show mercy. For if he, uh, if we were to see, so this is the Sharah, huh? this mm -hmm. is not mine, uh, uh -huh. opinion. this is the opinion of Ibn Uthman. So okay. he says, and he is one of the greatest scholars. Uh, so mm -hmm. he said, for it, we, uh, you know, if we saw, or if we knew that, you know, for example, you, uh, Christian Greens, right? So if you have, uh, you know, your wife or brother or whatever, father, if you know that they are going to hell, are you going to be sad? Distressed, or are you going to be happy? Tell me. Okay, it's time. Is my time to answer now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, guys, yeah, listen like, carefully. In, look, in, look, in, look, look, right? look, listen yeah. carefully. How was stupid what he said? Please stop, 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 so I can talk. Stop. You asked me to answer. You asked me to. An you asked me to answer you. You asked me to answer you. Stop, please. Look how. Okay, go. Look how stupid what he said. He said, "From Allah mercy." Stupid. stupid. Hold, hold on. I'm talking. I'm talking. Let me talk. 
Allah mercy, he don't want you to know, but he just told us. He told us even they will come with two hammers and they will hit us. He just told us Allah will insert inside your anus a chain and the chain is so big, 70 cubit. He told us he will make your skin in fire. He will burn you. Allah mercy, he don't want you to know. What, is, what a stupid talk, man. What are you talking about? And what does it have to do with my topic? I am asking you, I'm not asking you why we cannot see it, you idiot. I'm asking you how come Muhammad never mentioned before that moment literally <laughs> if Allah is first of all why did he not give me the uh, knowledge about that because it's knowledge of the unseen what do you mean knowledge so you are saying to me that Jewish they received the knowledge before Muhammad the, Ju the Jewish people they received the knowledge about the torment of the grave before Muhammad a Jewish woman she received a knowledge about the torment of the grave before Muhammad can revelation also come from uh, a third party Third party, you're, you're a prophet. You're, you're a prophet. You receive revelation from third party. Who is the third party? What? You are saying the Jewish woman is a third party? I think it's part of what? Of wahi revelation. The wahi came from the Jewish woman. So the wahi came. So the inspiration of Allah came from the Jewish woman. You keep on mentioning this Jewish woman, but it's funny because this Jewish woman later on became Muslim. You know? Really? She became a Muslim, guys. She became a Muslim. She became a Muslim. Wait, wait, it says that she became a Muslim. Go ahead. So, see, you don't know. No, I do not know. Show me. No, show me. Show me. Where this, where this Jewish woman who, who, who said that the, the punch of the grave, she became a Muslim. Show me. I want to see it. Let's have a, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, a fair discussion. This is a fair discussion. You just said, you just said this Jewish woman who mentioned the punch of the grave, she became a Muslim. Show me. Okay, my second point was... Um, don't, don't make second point first. The first point was either you are lying or you put me wrong. Where this woman, she became a Muslim. The woman who mentioned the punishment of the grave. My are you making Shara. things up? Are you making things up? Are you making things up? No, of course not. Give me a reference no. then. Give me a reference. No. Give me a reference. Okay. In uh, uh, Surah Al-Ghafir, mm. 84, mm. it says, So they saw our punishment... And they said, we believe in Allah alone. So even in the Quran, it says, there is a punishment in the grave. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what's so funny? Okay, well, the, the so funny is, you said to me, the Jewish woman, she became a Muslim. And, 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 you, and you, you just, in the beginning, you said to me, don't you know that the Jewish believe in Allah? <laughs> Isn't it you who said to me from the beginning, the Jewish believe in Allah? Wait, first of all, but can I ask you something? Right? No, don't ask me something. Is it you when you call me? You said to me, don't you know that the Jews believe in Allah? So now she said we believe in Allah. That will make her become a Muslim. I thought they believe in Allah from the beginning. Christian Prince, can I get you a... Uh, no, listen, listen. So I... both of us, we agree. Both of us, we agree that Muhammad... Okay, you know, just let, let, me, let me make it simple for you. Let me make it simple for you. When Muhammad... Who, who taught Muhammad how to pray? Okay, can I, can I respond? Yes, who taught Muhammad how to pray? Can I get you an Orthodox Jew, okay, who was on Essi Dawa a couple you, of times? You did, you did already, you did already, you did already, you did already. Orthodox Jew, Orthodox Jew is the one who told Muhammad that there is a punishment of the grave, and Muhammad he copied him. Thank you very much. We did that already. We finished it. I'm asking you, who taught Muhammad? Who taught Muhammad how to pray? Jesus, how to pray, Matthew 26. I'm asking you, don't change the topic. Who taught Muhammad how no, to pray? It's the same thing. Who told uh, Jesus to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane? Luke 22. Jesus is the one who taught us how to pray. Jesus is the one who taught us how to pray. They ask him how to pray. He said, say this, our Father out of heaven. Now I'm asking you, who is the one who taught Muhammad how to pray? Uh, who told them to pray? Tell me. Are you a Muslim, not me? Tell me, who taught Jesus? To pray? I, I, I told you, nobody taught him. He is God. The answer is yours. The answer is yours. The Son, He speaks to the Father. You Muslim, it says, Allah, He pray unto the Prophet. Allah, He pray for who? Don't change the topic. Muhammad, Muhammad, who taught him how to pray? I answer you about Jesus. I answer you about Jesus. Why do you want to answer me about Muhammad? Who taught Muhammad how to pray? Who taught Muhammad how to, who taught Muhammad how to, taught Muhammad how to, Muhammad how to pray? So God prayed to God. Who taught, okay, Allah, he prayed to Allah. How Allah prayed to Allah? No, God the Son, he prayed to the to God the Father. We believe in three persons. Are you stupid? 
You Muslim believe, you Muslim believe in one God supposedly, and He is one person. So when Allah He pray, He pray for who? Who told uh, Jesus? Uh, I mean uh, Moses. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't don't share the topic. Muhammad, who taught him how to pray? You see, you are trying to escape, guys. All the all the thing is, I answer him who about Jesus. He will not answer him about Muhammad. Okay, who taught Muhammad how to pray? Can you tell me, please? Uh, go to sunnah.com and then uh, find it for you. Oh, go to sunnah.com. I, I thought you are the one who will teach me. Why you do not know who taught Muhammad how to pray? It's done. Can I, can I find the hadith? You do not know who taught Muhammad how to pray until now and you are a man? He was a prophet. Who taught him how to pray? Who taught him how to pray? A prophet. He was a prophet, so uh, God inspired him to... Uh, Thank you. Finally got the answer. Guys, God inspired him. I want you to read this hadith for me. Just to show you that Muhammad is a scam and he was copying the Jews. Read carefully. Read carefully. Read carefully. The Messenger of Allah, the Messenger of Allah, shut up. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up for a funeral until a corpse was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, an Orthodox Jew, a rabbi Jew, once passed by and said, This is how we do it. But Muhammad did in a second because he got busted. He said, sit down, sit down, act differently from them. How Muhammad has been taught by God how to pray. And then just because of the Jew, he walked by in a second, Muhammad, he changed the prayer of God. Go ahead. Okay. Can I respond? Go ahead. Can you tell me who learned all the prophets? Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. It's not changing. Okay. How you change the prayer of God? You are the one who said that Allah taught him how to pray. So what if a Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. Why Muhammad, he changed. He said, act differently. Okay, who taught uh, Jesus how to pray? Don't change the topic. You are in the corner. Who taught Muhammad? If Allah, if Allah, you answered me already. You said to me, Allah taught him how to pray. How Muhammad can okay, change the prayer of Allah just because of a Jewish man walked by in a second. He said, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. Okay. Is that a prophet of God or a fraud? Listen. Who taught uh, Moses, peace be upon him, how to pray? Don't change the topic. You are a coward. Okay. Uh, Yoshi, I, you are a coward. You are a coward. You answer yeah. me already. Yeah. You answer me already. Yeah. Okay. You said God is the one who taught the prophet. So prophet been taught by God. Thank you very much. So when a prophet he pray, okay. he then, pray according he pray according to God teaching. Thank you very much. This is what you said. So now Allah he taught Muhammad how to pray. How come if a Jew he said to him, This is how we do it, he changed it. Can I can you let me respond? Go ahead. Okay. So here's an orthodox Jew. I will ask him, who taught uh, Moses, peace be, him, uh, peace be upon him, how to pray? Get lost. Get lost. Coward. He will ask a Jew, who taught Moses how to pray? <laughs> who cares about Moses now? You said to me that the one who, call, who, who taught Allah, Muhammad how to pray is Allah. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, Habibi, how are you? Don't call me Habibi, go ahead. What is the topic, my friend? What do you want to say to us? Because I've uh, watched some of your videos and I can clearly see that you are not honest. I am what? You are not an honest man. You like you hide stuff. This no problem, prove me wrong. Go ahead, go ahead. This is uh, why we can never learn Islam from Christians, you know, because they hide stuff. No problem, show us what we hide, go ahead. Okay, uh, wait, wait. You said uh, Muhammad, he gooped out the eyes of a person. Mm. He did not? Did he, or he did, did he or he did not? Yeah, yeah, sure. He did. Okay, and? Now let me ask you a question. Why did he do that? Because they left Islam and they killed the shepherd. <laughs> now let me ask you again. Why did he do that? I just told you. But is that an option? No. In the, is that an option? Isn't it the Quran says you punish people as they did? So the one who killed you, kill him. Why you are torturing them? Many people get executed. But no, no, no. You are not executing. Yeah, he did not execute them. He he cut their hands. He cut their feet. He put them in the cross. He put nails, which it, it's full. Uh, put it in fire. He's torturing them. Yeah. What kind of God? No, what? Okay. Somebody he kill you, kill him. No problem. <laughs> Somebody he killed. So who is the liar here? Let me talk. 
I showed the height in my video as I'm showing you right now. It's in front of you. Yeah, but let me talk. Hmm. So if somebody kills somebody, you no, take him. Let me talk. You take him and you put nails in his eyes. Is that what you do as a Muslim? No, wait, wait. Many people got executed in the Islamic ruling, but Muhammad never killed people in such a way except these people. Why did he punish them in this? Who way? said he did not? He chop. He chop a woman two pieces alive, and she is over the age of eighty. No, that's Umm. By tying, uh, by tying her into two camels, her name is Umm Qurfa. Yeah, because she, she uh, almost killed uh, Zayd. Uh -huh. So a second ago you said he never killed anyone like that. So Muhammad, he enjoyed torture. Did Muhammad beat a Jew to tell him where his money is hiding? Where did he hide his money? Wait, wait, wait. We're back to the ice thing. Why did <laughs> Muhammad punish them like that? Okay, you Muslim, you say Muhammad is a mercy for all mankind. Okay, Jesus was in the cross. The Jews, they put, nails in his, they put nails in his hand, they put nails in his feet, they put an arrow in his chest, and they, they insulted him, they make fun of him, and they killed him at the end. And yet he said to them, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. So what more than this? And look what Muhammad did. They killed the shepherd and they took their amos because those their amos, they gave them to, the, to Muhammad when they converted to Islam and now they want to leave. Yeah, yeah. So Muhammad, he will kill them anyway. They knew he will kill them if they run away. Yeah. So yeah, he yeah. decided, in order to kill their animals, they killed the shepherd, they took their animals and they flee. And now Muhammad did say, for the sake of argument, they are thieves. They say they are killers. Why you are cutting off their hands and their feet and putting nails in their eyes and let them die under the sun? Go ahead. No, uh, no, no, no. I want, uh, because you are a scholar, you definitely know the answer why Muhammad punished them like this. So I want you to say it. I, I already know the answer. Mm, you know already? I know why. why. Muhammad is a faithy man. He created the verse in the Quran. It says that those who <laughs> disobey Allah, we cut their hands and their feet. <laughs> right? No, wait, wait. Why did Muhammad punish them like that? Why? Because the Quran, supposedly, which is a book made by him, says we cut their, we cut their hands, we cut their feet. And he is following yeah, the faith of Allah. Good. But where in the Quran it says you put nails in their eyes? Yeah, good. Uh, you answered the first I'm question. asking you, does it say in the Quran to put nails in their eyes? Calm down, calm down. Hmm. Let me talk. You said to uh, me, you said to me, you said to me online, so Muhammad, he created yeah. the verse in the Quran, uh -huh. saying, okay, hold on. So Muhammad, he created the verse in the Quran. Wait, huh? wait, wait, wait. What? You answered the first part uh, about cutting of the hands and feet because uh, these people were criminals and they were stealing. Uh, that's true that uh, Muhammad did punish them, but why did he goop their eyes out? Why? He, you, tell me, you tell me. Why he goop the, go the eyes? Go ahead. No, I want you to say. No, I do not know. You tell me. I, I'm, I'm learning from you. Go ahead. Allah has put a seal upon your heart, my friend. That's why you cannot speak the truth. Well, I showed the truth. I showed that Muhammad, he did that. Why Muhammad did that? Another, go ahead. There's another hadith why he did it. Okay, tell us. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, re, I'm, I'm listening to because you. Because these criminals, they killed this, uh, that man in the same way. Ah, oh, they killed him in the same way. So they yeah. crucified the man? The hadith says they cut his hands and they cut his feet and they put nails and they put it in his eyes. Show us the hadith. Go ahead. The hadith says that these people, they killed the shepherd, they gooped their, his eyes out. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Show us the hadith. No, but Muhammad he did not do that. Muhammad he did not do that. Muhammad he cut their hands, he cut their feet, and he let them die in the sun slowly, and he put nails with fire in their eyes. Correct? The reason he cut off their hands and feet was because they were stealing, and a punishment for Islam is that you should cut off their limbs. No, ah, okay. The he so, cut the eyes out okay, hold on. Today. Okay, so the one who steal, we cut his hand, correct? Yes. Is it true that there is a person he stole five times and Muhammad he ordered no, them to kill? Please, don't change topic. Stay on this topic. I'm, I'm gonna we are not you. staying. With, we are not leaving. If if the one who is still in Islam, if the one who is still in Islam, we have to cut his hands. So how come you don't cut the hand of Muhammad? I'm gonna show you. I'm searching for hadith. I'm asking you. Isn't it you, Muslim? You say that Muhammad was a caravan thief. I'm send you a hadith reference. You send me hadith, no problem. Is it true that you Muslim agree that Muhammad used to attack people in the street and steal their money? Don't change topic. I'm not. Uh, then Why you Muslim did not cut his hand and put, eye, uh, put nails in his eyes? Because of it. You are the one who said to me, everybody heard you, that Muhammad, he cut a woman two pieces when she's alive. Why? Because she tried to kill. 
She tried to kill. Okay, <laughs> tried she to kill. She was a horrible woman. Uh, read her biography. Okay, guys, she was a horrible woman. So a horrible woman will cut her two pieces when she's alive. It depends on her actions. What she did. What action? What action, guys? Depending on the action. I thought the one who killed kill him. The one you are the one who said to me a second ago. Those guys they gog the eyes of the the shepherd. So the prophet was doing the same. So how come he did not do the same to the women? Did she split the Muslim to pieces by two camels? she was a horrible woman so what if she's a horrible woman you are a horrible too your prophet is the most horrible person ever he's a child molester he's a sex offender he's a rapist he's a thief he is a killer yes prove me wrong go ahead okay let me ask you is it true that your prophet was accused by the muslim that he stole an underwear i sent you hadith is it true that your prophet he deserved to cut his hand for his underwear what what ha, ha, go ahead Chapter, no, we are not changing the topic. This is the topic you are saying to me because she was a horrible woman. We cut her two pieces, and the funny the Muslim they say to us, the funny the Muslim they say to us, we we Muslims we don't kill women. The Prophet never killed women. He just admitted that his Prophet not only he killed an old woman over the age of eighty, he split her two pieces. Why? She was a horrible woman. Listen, listen. Uh, I I sent you a hadith. Put the hadith in front of your screen. Hmm. You gave me a hadith. We can go to the underwear thing. Okay, we can go to the underwear. Where, where is the hadith? Let us see. Why, Sunan, why do you not say this when you show these people the hadith? Of, uh, what no you problem. Think? You show it to me. I will show it to them. Here we go. We will put the screen in a second. Hold on. Everybody will be laughing at you. No, but. Uh, but I want you. I want you to be. I want you. I want you. I want you to be honest and say from now you agree with this hadith. Everything there. Do you agree? What do you mean? Do you agree with the hadith you just gave me? Of course. You will not say I reject it? No. Okay. We will see in a few seconds. Four zero. Four three. I'm searching it. Give us a second. All right. Ah. This website did not open. All right, here we go. This is the hadith you are saying, right? Yeah, put it in your screen. Okay, here we go. Just wait. Uh, read it for us. Loading. Read it for us. Uh, I can't read it. It's still loading. Hmm. Let me refresh. Okay, read it for us. Fine. Put it in your screen then. It's in the screen. Okay. Still a little bit loading. Wait. Uh, uh, the Prophet only had the eyes of these uh, people cooked out because they had cooked out the eyes of the uh, shepherd. Okay. Is that Islamic? What do you mean? Is that Islamic teaching or this is what happened or this is what Muslims saying? No, this is just what Muhammad did. Okay, I want to go with you. It's is that an is that an eye for an eye practice? What does that mean? Well, you just said to me because they did that, he did that. So you must believe in eye for an eye, correct? I don't know what eye for an eye means. Well, the, the, literally here they took the eye of the guy. So Muhammad he took their eye out. Do you believe in that or not? That if someone does that today, we should do that to him. Okay, so you believe eye for an eye? If somebody took your eye, you take his eye, correct? Nowhere does Muhammad say that. But okay. so what do you mean? No, it's in front of you. It says here. You are the one who yeah, told me. This is what the Prophet did. Okay. So if somebody took your eye, the Prophet will take his eye, correct? Yeah. Okay. I want to. You see, remember, you are the one who mentioned to me this hadith. You cannot deny it. You cannot say I don't agree with it. I want you to read this for me. And I, now you will start laughing. Everybody will hear you. Here we go. If a free man, he killed a free man. What is the punishment for the free man? I'll call you back. No, don't call me back. Don't leave. Don't leave. If a free man, he killed a free man. Hold on, hold on. Eh. Don't call me back. Stay. Eye for an eye, right? Let us see the idiot, Muhammad. 
if a free if a white arab man he killed a white arab man he will be killed but if he killed a slave a slave will be killed where is the eye for an eye this is eye for an eye all right i'm back uh, what are you talking about chapter 2 verse 178 if a white arab man he killed a black ethiopian man he will not be killed the black but, uh, another black slave will be killed this is quran where is the uh, justice of muhammad wait, wait, wait. where muhammad he learned eye for an eye story from this is uh, muhammad said uh, that whoever treated slave badly will enter all fire whoever treated a slave why he have a slaves muhammad he beat the slaves Muhammad, he destroys slaves. Muhammad, oh, no. uh, hold on, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Is that a verse from the Quran or not? Is that a verse from the Quran or not? Listen, uh, Muhammad said, whoever beats his slave should free him. Muhammad, he said that, or this is the Old Testament? No, oh, this is a hadith. But this is the Old Testament saying that, not Muhammad. No, but it's in hadith. No, this is the Old Testament saying that. If, even if you break, even if you break the tooth of your slave, you you have to free him. Now I'm asking you. You are the one who's saying to me that Muhammad is doing that because they did that too. Okay. If a person he killed a free, he will be killed. But if a person, a free man, he killed a slave, what is what is the punishment? My friend, in Exodus chapter twenty. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic in Exodus. <laughs> Don't change the topic. You 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 laugh like a whore. Each time you laugh like this, I will call you a whore because you are doing like a whore. <laughs> Does it say slave for a slave or I'm lying? Wait, in Exodus uh, chapter 21, verse 20. Are you going to read it or not? Wait. Are you going to read it or not? Wait, in the Bible you can... Okay, hold on. He will change the topic. Coward, son of Muta. Wait, wait. Son of Muta, are you going to read it or not? Why are you calling him Because aren't you the same? Aren't you? Aren't you who practice muta? Is it in the Quran? Muhammad forbade it. Muhammad forbade the Quran? No, Allah he forbade it in the Hadith. Where, guys, Allah he forbade the Quran? No, he abrogated it. What's wrong with you? Allah abrogated the Quran in the Hadith. Yes, Allah in the Hadith it says Allah commanded. So Allah he says something. The Hadith is the word of who? Doesn't matter, Muhammad is Allah forbade it. So Muhammad is Allah. Allah is Muhammad. So if Muhammad says something, you Muslim, you don't follow Allah, you follow Muhammad. So Allah, He says, you do muta. Then Muhammad, He says, don't do muta. And by the way, who said that Muhammad said, don't do muta? What if I show you that Muhammad and his caliphate, they practice muta after the death of Muhammad? No, now let me explain. Muhammad forbade and allowed muta two times. And then, Muhammad he allowed muta two times. Why he's a stupid? So guys, look at this. Look at this. Muhammad he allowed it. Then he forbid it. Then he allowed it. Then he forbid it. Then he allowed it. Then he forbid it. Then he allowed it. Then he forbid it. Why? Now let me explain. I will listen every time you interrupt me. I will restart. I am not interrupting you. You are the one who is saying that he allowed it and forbid it. Allow it and forbid it. Why? He's an idiot. No, you. Did Allah give him verses, two verses? Once it says, allow it. And then he gave him verse, says, don't do it. And then he gave him another verse, says, allow it. And then he gave him another verse, says, forbid it. speak. Go ahead. Let me speak. <laughs> what do you mean, go ahead? You, you keep interrupting me. <laughs> okay, now let me speak. Okay, uh, Muhammad allowed uh, two times, then he forbade it two times. And on the day of Khayba, Allah command uh, Allah told Jibreel to uh, uh, the, to tell Muhammad to forbid muta until the day of resurrection. But some people, they like Ibn Abbas, they didn't know that muta was forbidden. So Ali ibn Talib and Umar ibn Khattab, they were the ones who made it clear to the people that muta was forbidden after the death of Muhammad. So that is why muta was still practiced by some people. Guys, did you hear it? You got that? Yeah, I got that. So uh, Ibn Abbas was an idiot, but isn't it Ibn Abbas is the one who Muhammad, he prayed for Allah to make him the scholar of the nation? What the hell does this have to do with this? But that's mean the prayer of Muhammad is false. Because if Muhammad, the only scholar Muhammad he named to explain the Quran, it was Ibn Abbas. Oh, does this have to do with this? No, it had to do. Muhammad, he named him. He says, May Allah make Ibn Abbas Hebrew Ummah. 
make make him the the most scholar for the nation and now you just said ibn abbas was an idiot he got it wrong and you said not only that you said he never heard the guy he lived with muhammad guys the guy he lived with muhammad the guy he is the cousin of muhammad the guy was named by muhammad as the one to explain and he is the last one to know such a matter is changed and it's forbidden to do wait, wait. Ibn Abbas didn't know, so Ali ibn Talib said no. The problem. Why Ibn Abbas don't know? Why Ibn Abbas don't know? He was ignorant. No, maybe he, maybe he wasn't there when Muhammad said it. Oh, Ali was there. Yeah. Ali was there. Yeah, and uh, Omar ibn Khattab too. Okay, show me where it says Ali and Omar was there. Go ahead. Many people were there. Many people were there. Muhammad was dying. Yes. Yeah, but he was still there. No, he. Yeah, but. That was the start of the... Okay, okay, okay. Let us see. If we say to you right now that Muhammad, huh? he, he forbid in the front of people the, the, the muta. And Ibn Abbas, he lived in the same town. How come Ibn Abbas did not hear that? Why are you asking me? Oh, you are the Muslim. You are the one who is teaching us. But, but, but what's the point of this question? Please tell me the point. The point of the question that there's something funny, fishy here. Uh, some people hear, some people don't hear, but all of them they live in the same town. All of Mecca, all all of it is not even, you know, it's like the size of a mole. All of it. How come Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, did not hear this? I don't know, because maybe he wasn't there. Ah, you don't know. Okay, so let us go. Let us go back to the story here. So, did Muhammad practice muta? So, see, you're changing the topic again. No. Is what? Why the muta is forbidden right now? Is that because it's prostitution? It's Allah. Allah forbade it. What, why? Why he forbade it? What is the wisdom? Because uh, in Islam, you can only marry four wives. That's it. Huh? You have to marry to have sex. Huh? Will Muhammad he did not marry? To have sex. So why are you going to Muhammad? Why are you so obsessed with Muhammad? But you just say to me, Muhammad is Islam. So you are saying to me, Muhammad was a bad Muslim, the rest are good Muslims? Why Muhammad have sex with women without marrying them then? You just say to me, in Islam, Islam we, have, the... we have to marry before we have sex. Correct? Yeah. Okay. That, that, that's the Islamic ruling now. All right. Did Muhammad have sex before marriage? Are you talking about uh, those whom, we, whom your right hand possesses? The right hand possesses are the one he captured, right? Here with them. This is not the question. The Quran gave Muhammad, no, the Quran gave Muhammad the permission to rape women. He captured them in war, correct? Oh, but in numbers. Uh, no problem. You can say whatever. No, it says there you marry them. It says there you marry them. Muhammad was raping them. If you want to marry a woman, if you want to marry a woman, you have to marry them. You cannot rape them. No, but you can marry, you, you, you have to marry them. And you, you have to marry them, okay. In, in Muhammad, did he rape Sophia before he married her or after? Listen, uh, see, you keep changing the topic. I'm not a change the topic. topic. I'm not a change the topic. Okay, let us go back. You said no, no, that no, wait, wait. His, hand, his hand right persists, correct? So the Quran no. allow, allow Muslims to rape women, they capture them. Let me ask you, was, was, was Mary the Copt his right hand persists? Wait, in the Hadith and the Quran, it says throughout that you should uh, give your wealth uh, to the uh, woman whom you're right. I'm asking you. You have to take good care I'm of I'm asking you. Was Muhammad huh? having sex with Mary the Copt? See, you keep changing. Can we just... Uh, we are not. Stop we are not. You are the one who mentioned to me that those are right hand possess, but Mary the Copt is not right hand possess. Because right hand possess no is those who capture in my war. Friend. My friend, can I, can I uh, give you another lie you said about Islam? You can give me, well, let us answer this one. You can give me 10 lies. No, no. No problem. No. All of those, all of those no, you are no, saying no, lies, you see, you when I say, when I, when I say, listen, listen, just to show you how stupid what you are saying, you are saying, I am lying because of what? Because I did not tell you that Muhammad, he put, he did that to them because they took their eyes out of the shepherd. But Muhammad, he cut their hands. If eye for an eye, do an eye for an eye. Muhammad, he cut their feet. He crucified them. Do eye for an eye. He did not. 
So Muhammad, he enjoyed he torture. He Muhammad, enjoyed torture. Muhammad is a filthy torture man. And not only that, you agree with me that Muhammad, he cut a woman to pieces when she's alive just because she is horrible woman. She did not kill anyone. What do you mean she did? She killed many people. She killed many people. She's a woman. Yeah, but... <laughs> she's, 80, she's over the age of 80. No clue, man. <laughs> she's over the age of 80 and let us say for the sake of argument Aisha she took an army and she killed more than thousand Muslims of the army of both the army of Ali and her army you Muslims why you did not split Aisha to pieces because she is a horrible woman my friend Ali and Aisha had a war uh -huh, that's wonderful which one is more horrible the one who is a Muslim who killed a Muslim and she is the wife of the Prophet and go attack the cousin of the Prophet and she want to kill the cousin of the Prophet who is married to the daughter of the Prophet or a woman, she is a stranger. Which one is more horrible? Your God commanded Here we go, you change the topic. So you're a Prophet, you agreed. You see, you, you, call me to, you call me to prove that Muhammad is a good guy. But look what you did. You agreed that women, she been split to pieces. How horrible, filthy Muhammad is. A woman. No, you, she is over the age of she is over the age of 80 and you agreed with that and everybody heard you what kind of a filthy prophet he is and now i ask you about i ask you about slave for a slave women for women you refuse to answer you know why because muhammad you do not know what the, muhammad you do not know what eye for an eye mean muhammad is a coward he's a liar okay slave for a slave explain to me slave for a slave go ahead Bible, uh, it says you can Answer, don't change, don't change, don't change. We, we can talk about the Bible, no problem. Answer this one. Each time I, each time we give you the needle, you say, Bible, Bible, Bible. Answer. Free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women. Do you agree with that? You are such a liar, oh my God. I'm lying. Get me busted. Here we go. Here's the verse in the front of you. No, no, it... because, can, can I change it? Can I uh, pick the topic? My, my religion, my you can't change the topic, no problem. Why do you want to answer? We are in the topic. Slave for a slave. We are talking oh, about those guys. We are talking about those guys who they gag the eyes of the shepherd, as you say. Okay, slave for a slave. Why do you want to kill a slave for because somebody killed a slave? What is the point? I never agreed on this topic. And you are lying. It doesn't even say that. Okay, let us see, guys. I'm lying. Do you, do you, do you, want, to, do you want to see that of seer? Listen, can, can we go to the... Uh, no, we can, we can. Can you, Do you dare to say, I accept the tafsir? My friend, I am not going to... I am not your friend. You are a liar, hypocrite. The Quran says, take not the Christians and Jews as a friend. So why you are calling me a friend? Because you are munafiqun. You are a munafiq. You are using taqiyya. So if we go right now to the tafsir, do you accept? Can we go to the tafsir? I'm not gonna talk about this topic. Why you don't? You, you, no, you accuse me. You accuse me of lying. Everybody should see yeah. that I am lying. You said it doesn't say that. You yeah. said you said it doesn't say slave for a slave. Farid had over 100 lies about you. Didn't okay, you? hold on. We handled with you. Is a Fifi? Why why you are watching the the video of Fifi? But yet you didn't dare to call me and do the same. Here we go. I did not hang up on you. Because you keep interrupting me. Well, so what? And you are interrupting me too. We are talking at the same time. It's an it's an open mic. It's an open mic. Okay, Fifi, Fifi, because he's a girl. You are more brave than Fifi. You call me, but Fifi is a girl. Is that Fifi the one who leaked? Is that the one who leaked the email of Qadri? And now Muslims are leaving Islam because of him. Fifi the leaker, trustworthy. Now read with me. Read with me, coward. Read, read with me, coward. Read with me, coward. Read with me, coward. This is Tafsir Jalalain. You said it doesn't say that, CP. The puppy of Fifi. The puppy of Fifi. He will put you in his. You, you know, I, I will send you where you belong. Read with me carefully. You said it doesn't say that. Here we go. It says. You said even. Say, read carefully. Read carefully. A free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave. Does it say that or not? In chapter, you said not do not take Jews as a Christian as friends. It doesn't. It says do not say, take Jews as a Christian and as your protectors. Why are you lying? Again, I'm not a lie. Why are you lying? It's in the Quran, chapter five fifty one. No, it's in Arabic. It says uh, do not uh, take, uh, take them as protectors and helpers. Why again, lie? Okay, let us see if this is true. You want you want you want to bet? My friend. You want to bet? You want to bet? 
Okay, uh, you want a bed? Okay, challenge in the front of your body. Let's see, I'm lying. You see, you're trying to change the topic about free stay for a slave. I get it, I get it. He's trying to change the topic because it's embarrassing. In Islam, if you kill a black person, he's a slave. You don't kill the free man who killed him. You kill another black person who owned by the other owner who killed the slave. Yes, the Stupid religion. Now, okay, read for me. You said it doesn't say that. See, pay. Read it carefully. Here we go. This is Quran. This is Quran.com. Read, read the verse, coward, son of Muta. Read, read for me. <laughs> you are a son of Muta because if you are not son of Muta, you will not lie right in the front of my face. You said it doesn't say that, listen, CP. Listen. You are a son of Muta, like Fifi, who don't dare to call me. <laughs> read it, read it. You said I'm lying. Listen. Christian, Christian, no, read it, doesn't say, let me read, let me read, let me read. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as your friend and protector. Does it say that or not? Why you lie? It doesn't say friends in Arabic, why you lie? Okay, read it, read it, read it. Why you lie? Read it. Again, you said even why he means okay, let us make an agreement. Revolution. Let us make an agreement. Okay, let us say you are sitting in the lap of Fifi now and he is playing with you, like the Prophet used to play with Hussein and Aisha. Are you agreeing with me to open the interpretation for this verse? Do you dare? Read the Arabic dictionary. Read the Arabic dictionary. Interpretation. Arabic Don't tell me that. Okay, we will go to dictionary. No problem. We will go to dictionary. Do you ex do you agree with the interpretation? Yes or no? You even said why he missed. You coward son of Muta. Do you agree with the interpretation? Yes or no? So why you don't want you see so you agree now that I am saying the truth and you and Fifi are a bunch of liars. The interpretation okay. agree with me. <laughs> You're lying. So why you don't want the interpretation? It's go to the Arabic dictionary and see what it says. What dictionary? We will go to the dictionary now. Okay, I, let us make an agreement. We will go to the interpretation and we will ask you a question. Do Ibn Kathir knew the meaning of the dictionary or he don't? Do Al Jalalain he knew or not? Do Al Qurtubi he knew the dictionary or not? So you are saying, you are saying, son of Muta, son of Muta, son of Aisha, son of Aisha who slept with Safwan, Safwan ibn Mu'attal who do play play with her. I'm asking you now, why you don't want to agree with the scholars? Hey, the, the, the Bible forbids selling of black slaves. All right. <laughs> son, of, son of Muta. Cowards. I am lying. The second we say, let us go and read the interpretation. I'm lying. Sons of Muta, all of them. Practice Muta. Prophet, he forbid Muta, he allow Muta, he forbid Muta, he allow Muta. He agree with that. Why? Is the law of God is a joke? We are talking about having sex with women. For one or two nights stand. Forbid, allowed, forbid, allowed. What is that? The answer is in the Quran. Muhammad is a joker. The same verse we are reading actually about the slaves, Muhammad later he changed it because people they start laughing at him. Chapter 2, verse 178. If you ask any Muslim, he will say to you, Oh, this is abrogated. How come? The law of murder abrogated. Why? The murder is a murder. But because Muhammad, people start laughing at him and the Jews start laughing at him. This is not eye for an eye, you idiot. If somebody kill my wife, I don't go and kill his wife, you donkey. You kill the killer. Free for the free, slave for the slave, black for the black, women for the women. And then the Muslims, they don't want this garbage. So Muhammad, according to them, he abrogate this verse. Allah, he changed his mind. He found that he is wrong. All of this in the speed of light. Even the tafsir says that Muhammad used to say something in the morning. He says something else afternoon. And we can show the reference. Muhammad, he enjoy his followers. Allah from Allah in the morning. And he changed it in the second day. This is what happened with the muta. This is what happened with this verse. This is what happened with many things. And when they say, I am lying, they prove me right. You lied. 
It doesn't say that CP, you cannot take them as a friend. The Quran even says you cannot take even your family. And just to show you how stupid what they are saying, that you cannot take them as a protectors, but you can take them as a friend. You can take them as a friend, but not as protectors. That's what he said. Right? So why the Muslim translating here saying friend and protectors? And why the interpretation agreeing with me, not with them? The second a Muslim, he, want, he don't want to see the interpretation. It is the same moment you know that he is lying. Otherwise, why you don't agree? We can go and see the interpretation for the verse. If the interpretation of something agree with them, or let us say with their propaganda, the Muslim, they will say to you, we agree with it. The second they notice that this is not what worked for them, it's the same second they don't want it. Uh, we have the one is calling. Here's the one. Hello? Hello? Your voice is muffled for some reason. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say? You hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Do you hear me good or tell me? It's okay. No problem. Go ahead. Okay, so I, I was... Uh, no, I wanted to know, right? So I remember you saying something about that Allah was not the... Uh, you know, not uh, not the god of uh, what's it called? Uh, no, he, you tell me that he was a pagan god, right? Well, uh, you you Muslim, you told us he's a pagan god, and we can prove it easy. Isn't your isn't it your prophet? Isn't it your prophet? Isn't it your prophet? He said, okay, hold on. Isn't it your prophet? He said that the the black stone erase your sin. Sorry. Isn't it your prophet who said that the black stone erase your sin? No, not, he actually says it on the day of judgment. So, for example, no, no, no. Names, this right? is not my question, my friend. No, no. You see, let us let us not to speak. Let us learn. Let us learn because speaking over me will not help you. I will not let you do that. I'm asking you: Is it your prophet who said that touching the black stone erase your sin? Yes or no? On the day of judgment, even you know all your names. No, are going to he did not mention the day of judgment. You are adding things. I'm asking a specific question. Did your prophet say that touching the black stone and the Yemeni corner erase your sin? So is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? My friend, is he a pagan why you are not answering me? Why you aren't answering me? Did he say this or not? Either you say no, he did not say it, or you say yes, he did say it. So according to the hadith, it says whoever touches it, it creates. That's it basically. Whoever right? touches it, what? You're trying to mention. Whatever, right? Okay, say it again. Whatever he touched it, what? Has which will speak on the day of judgment. Um, you know, do you know, bro? Uh, what's his name? Uh, sorry, bro. Third response. He made a very excellent video on it. So I, okay. you know, I suggest you. Yeah, watch FIFA, it. FIFA response yeah. again. So all of them, they are the kids of FIFA, but they cannot call me. Why? Okay. Do you do you like do you like to play for me FIFA response video? I'm not the kid. Probably. Okay. So tell me what FIFA he said in his response. Sorry. Tell me what FIFA he said in his response. He said that uh, you know the hadith actually. You know, has a weak uh, narrator. Uh, it's a weak narrator. It's weak. Who said that? Him? Okay. okay, does it say that in the Muslim website? Yeah. Yeah. Go back to, uh, you know, the chain of narration regarding that. Here we go. Habit. This is the chain of narration, and your f a friend Fifi is a fraud. Read it for me. Well, you said does it say Hassan? 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 Hold on. I'm telling you. Hold on. So, uh, you Hold know, on. See multiple times in your videos that Allah is a pagan god. Okay. So, so answer, answer me. Forget. Either you bring me Fifi or you tell me what Fifi says. So tell me what Fifi says. As long as you are not mad to tell me what you believe. So Fifi said to you what? He said he said to you that touching the black stone erase your sin is a weak hadith. What's Fifi? Fifi, the guy you're talking about, the girl who don't care to call me. He don't dare to call me. He don't dare to let me call him. He's a Fifi. 
Do you have no, do, do you have a no, Skype no, of Fifi? No. Let me ask you, as long as you know Fifi. Do you have a Skype for no. Fifi? And I will call him right no. now. Do you have the Skype of That's Fifi? So I will call him right now. Do you dare? So let's be honest. No, so 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 no listen, listen, in front of everybody. Do you have the Skype of Fifi? And I will call him live in the front of everybody. Let us see who's the coward. What's your question? No, he don't know my question. You keep mentioning to me, Fifi. Then let me talk out of Fifi. Give me Skype of Fifi. I will call Fifi right now. Go call him. Go, yes, go ahead. Give me, give me his Skype. I will call him right now. I will hang up on you and we'll call him right now. Do you have his Skype? No, give me Skype. Give me his Skype. And I will call him immediately. Okay, let me see. I think this guy knows. Uh, let me add this guy. Hmm. Okay, when you find it, give me give me his Skype and we'll call him right away. Now, the hadith in the front of you, is it, is, is it that... I want to you know, go back to where you say that Allah is actually a pagan God, a moon God. Yes, Allah is a pagan God because the one who believe, the one who teach, if, if the one who the taught you... God. Who is the one who taught you? Who is the one who taught you that the black stone, touching black stone, forgive your sin? Is it Allah or Muhammad? Yeah. I lost your voice. What happened? Huh? Day of judgment, right? Where it says in the day of judgment. Where it says in the day of judgment. Read carefully. It says, I ask Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching the two two corners? He said, I heard message of Allah saying, touching them a real sin. When you pray, what's your name? Uh, Christian prince, okay. Mm -hmm. When you kiss the cross and when you pray to the cross, is mm -hmm. that not pagan worship? First of all, show me where Jesus said kiss the cross. Secondly, secondly, we don't believe the cross. We don't believe the cross. We don't believe the cross forgives sin, and we don't believe the cross that it is God. It's a piece of wood. It's a piece of wood. Secondly, secondly, who told you I kiss? Who told you I kiss the crosses? So you are making a stupid thing. The one who kisses a stone is your prophet. Hello. The one who kisses a stone is your prophet. Right? Right. Christian prince. Yes. I have here an Orthodox Jew, right? So according to you, Allah is not. Uh, according to you, Allah is a pagan god, and Jews do not worship him, or whatever. Hmm. Uh, can I ask him? So, sure, sure, uh, ask him. Tell me. You know? hmm. Okay, go ahead. Me, hello. Okay. Go ahead. You are Orthodox Jewish, my friend. Yes. All right. What do you think about Muhammad? Muhammad, yeah, يعني, um, by essentially the Quran and a Hadith. Uh, from what I've seen, I think he was a, a false prophet. Obviously, I think he was primarily hallucinating the majority of the things uh, you know that he was doing, including revelation. However, morally speaking, I don't think that he was that morally detestable when it comes to his relations with Jews. Um, politically speaking, military, you know, militarily speaking, right? Okay. Can, 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 you, know, can uh, you stop, please? Can you can you stop, please? Uh, can, you, can you stop? Give me the other person. The other person, would you? The one. The one that you heard the Jew saying to you, and you are the one who brought him to talk to me, saying that your prophet oh, is a, saying that your prophet is a scumbag. He is a fraud. He is a liar. What do you say? I didn't say scumbag. Well, I am saying that, but obviously you are saying that, but you, maybe you don't dare to say it. The second you say, the second you say he's a false prophet, that means he's a scumbag because a scumbag is the one who takes the money of the people. Listen, listen. So give me the Muslim, please. Give me the Muslim. The Muslim. The one. Are you there? Does not believe in that, okay? okay. He also does not believe in Jesus being. Uh, hold on, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. This is this is not my this is not my topic. This is not my topic. This guy he he brought you here to say that you believe in Allah, and you just said to me that Muhammad believe in different Allah. So how you believe in the same one? Muhammad is a false prophet because if Muhammad he believe in Allah, is the Allah who is sent him, and you don't believe that he sent by the God, that means you believe in different God. No, that's not true. Well then, uh, the thing is, that's also not true, right? Because there were false prophets back in the day of Jeremiah, for example, right? Who actually, they were themselves not Okay, listen. Yeah, so the, fa the false prophet, prophets, right? the false prophet, who is their god according to the Torah? Isn't it their god is Satan, the false prophet? Because all lies come from Satan. No, no. no these um, these people would still have the same god. Ah, so prophet, you are a false prophet, but you have the same God. Okay, hold on. When you prophesy, when you prophesy, you are prophesying in the name of which God? In the name of the true God, but it's not a true prophecy. So you are a liar. 
Well, let's say liar. Either a crazy person okay. or Okay, so you agree that Muhammad is lying. Okay, so you agree that Muhammad is lying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad is lying, prophesying in the name of a false god. So, you know, you're a polytheist Christian prince. Who's talking now? The Jew or the Muslim? According to, you know, can you tell him, uh, Yoshi, that he is actually a polytheist? <laughs> yes, according to Judaism, we'd be Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You and the Jewish guy, both of you are a fraud. Let me tell you why. Because if he's a Jew, if he is a Jew, he knew from the first, in the first verse, in the second, in the, in the, in the, in the Old Testament, it says it clearly in the book of Genesis, right away, that God and his spirit, do you agree, uh, Mr. Jewish man, that God had a spirit? The Ruach Kodesh, but yes, the Ruach Kodesh is different from the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about the. I'm not talking about the. Okay, I guess I'm not talking good. about the Ruach Kodesh. No, don't go. Don't don't go too well, far. That, that is the Holy Spirit. Hold, hold on, hold on, don't go there. Hey, 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 Jack Shalom, don't go there. Listen, do you agree that in the Book of Genesis mentioned that God and His Spirit? Yes or no? Yes, but it, okay. The let us go. Let us go to the second part. Do you agree that God had a Spirit? Yes or no? Yes, but in Ruach. Okay, thank you very much. Stop, stop, stop. The God of Islam has no spirit. So how Muhammad God is the same as your God? If the God of Islam has no spirit? Well, essentially, well, actually, they believe that essentially God had a rule. This is not, this is not a question. This is not a question. No, the Muslim didn't agree. They believe that Allah has no ruh. No, he... Abdallah, you're not going to let me finish. All right? See, the same word that is used for Ruach and Agin. This is not, this is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. Listen, this is not the question. This is not the question. You agree that God has a spirit. The Muslims don't agree that God has a spirit. They agree so, that he has a roof. They actually do agree that he has a roof. No, they don't. No, they don't. I can show you in the screen. No. Don't be stupid. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let us ask the Muslim. Let us ask the Muslim to answer for the Muslim. The one, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Do you agree that Muslims believe that Allah has a spirit or he don't? Yeah. We, our soul comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not the question. This is not the question. Allah himself. Do Allah himself have a spirit? Allah himself. Not our soul. Allah himself. Is it, he have a spirit or not? Again, you know, we consist out of um, you know, what's it called? The, uh, okay, one, one. Do you believe that Allah has a rule? This is not the question. This is not the question. Why you are playing game? I'm asking you, the, do you Muslim believe that Allah has a spirit? Yes or no? And what do you mean by spirit? Is it something physical or not? The no. God of the Bible, he has, a spirit is a physical. What's wrong with you? Since when a spirit is a physical? Spirit is a spirit. Is Allah have a spirit? Is Allah a spirit, first of all? Okay. Is Allah is a spirit? To make it simple. Okay, the spirit or soul, okay, is not one of the attributes of Allah. Right? Thank you very much. So tell the idiot. So tell the idiot who said to you, tell the idiot who just said to me, the Muslim believe Allah has a spirit, and you just said, get lost, both of you. Both of you are a bunch of donkeys, and you get busted because none of you. He gave me the correct answer. Both of you are hypocrites. Okay, just shut up. The Jew he agree that Muhammad is a false prophet. The jury agree that Muhammad don't believe, or oh sorry, uh, he's a false prophet, and he claimed that Muhammad worshiped the same God. Then we ask the Jew, is it true in the Old Testament it says God, he has a spirit, which means he's a spirit? He said yes. And he said stupidly, answer ignorance, showing ignorance, that Muslims believe in the same. We ask the one, do you believe that Allah has a spirit? In the beginning, he tried to avoid to answer the question. And then we got them busted. He said, no, a spirit of Allah is not, there's Allah have no spirit. And it's not one of the attributes of Allah. So the God of Muhammad cannot be the God of the Bible because the God of the Bible has a spirit. And this is a fatwa in front of us, publication 25-11-2004, fatwa number 50774. It says it clearly, this is not any of the attribute of Allah as the one he said. So when you bring me a Jew, he is a stupid donkey who do not know what he's talking about. And he said the Muslim believe that Allah have a spirit, that because he's an ignorant. And excuse me for using the word donkey, I'm showing you too much respect, you don't deserve. Because you don't call and you speak of knowledge about Islam if you don't know. 
We heard him saying, the Muslim believe that Allah have a spirit. And then the one he got him busted. And this is the fatwa in the front of us saying it clearly. It's about me actually asking a Muslim, do your God Allah have a spirit? The Muslim, he went to the fatwa website and he asked them. <laughs> they told him no. No. But the God of the Bible, he does have a spirit. The God of the Bible is a spirit. The God of Islam is a physical being. He's a shin, he's a leg. He has a physical, you know, he is not a spirit. So when you bring me a Jew and you claim that the Jew will show you that we have the same God, you brought me an idiot who do not know what Islam teach. Because in order to have the same God, we have to have the same nature of same God. If my God has a spirit, and he is a spirit, and your God is not, then we are not sharing the same God. It's not the problem. The problem is not the name. What if a Muslim now, they change the name of their God, Allah, they call him Elohim, or they call him Jehovah, or Yahweh. It doesn't matter, still it's not the same God. And this is the answer for you. I will post it in the screen, in the, in the, in the chat. Everybody can go and read the fatwa. The Muslim don't believe that Allah has a spirit. So this poor Muslim, he got me a supposedly an Orthodox Jew with long hair in the side of his ear and supposedly that will make him super intelligent and he knew what he's talking about. Both of you are ignorant. And this is the link for the fatwa. Yeah, I will take your call, hold on, because both of you are talking at the same time. Here we go, this is the fatwa, see it. Hello? Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Hello, I'm sorry for what happened. What happened? Uh, you called me a son of Muta'ala, and you know. No, I did not call you son of Muta'ala. Muhammad called you that. I'm just using the words of Muhammad. Okay, uh, calm down. Just calm down, okay? Isn't it the Quran just says, down. pay them wages calm for down. whatever you enjoy it? Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Uh, what's wrong calm with down. you? You open the topic. I'm showing you what the Quran is saying. Yeah, pay wait, wait. for whatever you enjoy it. Uh, it's not me who is calling you son of Muta'ala. Muhammad wait, saying, wait, every wait, Muslim, wait, you practice Muta'ala. Calm down. Calm down. Hmm. You have to let, in order to have a great conversation, you have to let people speak. So what do you think about the conversation happened? The Jewish, the Jewish guy, your friend, he brought me a Jew, and he said Muhammad is a fraud. What do you think? Uh, sorry, what? Your friend, he is the child of yeah. Fifi. He get me a, an Orthodox Jew to prove me wrong. And then the Jew right away, he yeah. said Muhammad is a fraud. He is false prophet. Why do you think this uh, Jew yeah. is saying he's a false yeah, prophet? Say that. He just said Muhammad is a false prophet. He believes that Muhammad is not a prophet. He, he believes that Muhammad is not a prophet. Yeah. Okay. That's Guys, he believes that Muhammad is not a prophet. Is, doesn't that make him false prophet? Yeah, he believes Muhammad is a false prophet. He okay, so why this Jewish man, he said that? What do you think? And you are the Muslim who asking yeah. him to call me. Because he has his own... What, what, sorry, what? You Muslims asked this Jewish guy to call me, and he, live on air, agreed that Muhammad is a fraud. No, he didn't say that Muhammad is a fraud. Well, you just said that he agreed that Muhammad is not a prophet, he's a false prophet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. false prophet is a fraud, because what is what he do? He claimed to be something he's not. Actually, actually, he said he believes Muhammad is a false prophet. Exactly. He believes. Okay. But that's what he, be everyone has their own beliefs. Uh, he, he believes the must. Jesus is not a messiah, he's a false messiah, but there's okay. no problem with No that. problem, but why, why, he, why he thought of Muhammad, if, if this Jewish man, you ask him to call me, and then he admit life on air that Muhammad is a false prophet, that means every single thing he said is a lie. So how you Muslims bring me someone, he believed that every single word Muhammad he said it's a lie, in the same time to prove to me that Muhammad worshiped the same God, I mean who is a stupid here? I mean... Uh, doesn't the Quran say that Allah said, I breathe my spirit? The Quran says what? That Allah said, I breathe my spirit, stuff like that. Yeah, but the Muslims, you Muslims, not me, 
the Muslim they say that Allah this is not him as a spirit Allah have a spirit which means like Jibreel Holy Spirit whatever hmm. yeah so what do you think why what, what do you think about the logic of the smart Muslim the child of Fifi who made a Jewish man call me and the Jewish man he admit life on air that Muhammad is a false prophet what that what that will help him how he is a false prophet and yet we worship the same God how that can be because uh, the God of uh, Moses, like the God of the Old Testament and uh, uh -huh. the Torah that we have today, and the God of the Quran, hmm. their teachings, their personality is very, very similar. To no, each other. no, That's we why. just we just mentioned we got them busted both. The, the 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 Bible of the Old Testament, which means the book of the Jews, before it became my book, it says that God has a spirit, and the Jewish guy he agree. So God he has a spirit, and he is a spirit. So the God of Islam he is not a spirit, and he has no spirit. So we don't have the same but God. I, I believe Allah is a spirit. Oh, you believe that? So you are saying to me that, okay, so you are saying to me those Muslim Sunni who believe that Allah has no spirit, they are lying? I don't believe he has a spirit, but I believe he is a spirit. Oh, you believe he is a spirit? This is even more dangerous. He is, guys, a spirit. Okay, let me ask you then. You, are the, you agree with the hadith, don't you? What hadith? The hadith. You agree with the book of the hadith. Yeah, yeah. Right. Can we talk about the black stone thing? No problem. We'll talk about the stone. Just a second. Do Allah have a shape? Can the spirit have a shape? I don't know. You tell me. You are the one who said. I don't know what this uh, surah is, uh, images. I don't know. Okay, but do Allah have a shape? You said you are saying no, so you, your answer no? I don't know. Okay. Read with me. This is Sahih Al Bukhari. Wait, wait, wait. Can we not? Can we talk? About no problem. Let, let us cover this one just to show the idiot who you know the the, the one who 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 invented a Jew to call me to prove me wrong supposedly how he helped me. It says here that Allah will come in a shape other than the one they saw first time. What is the shape yeah. of Allah if He is a spirit? Let me put it in the screen. Yeah, but uh, Allah will create something and then. Uh, Allah, uh, he, he will not go it literally inside that uh, that image, that shape. Oh, so Allah is outside? So Allah is outside? Yeah, he will control it by his... How, where it says that? It says Allah will come to them in a shape. Allah will come to them. He is in the shape. Read it. Yeah, but this is a uh, metaphor. Uh, metaphor? It's a metaphor. But it says they will not recognize him. And he will say to them, I'm your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge from thee. You are not our Lord. And then but, Allah will come to them in a shape they know. But this is not the, this shape is nothing to do with like how Allah is now above the throne. <laughs> no problem. This is even make it more horrible because now Allah is creating his own flesh, going inside his own shape, which is a created and Allah have, have many shape. Which one? How we will know which Allah now? With many shape, flesh. There's just so much. Every time you speak about Islam, there's just so much wrong with it. Why? Because uh, every time you say a sentence about Islam, you just a Muslim has to uh, say so many things about it that uh, is wrong with it. I'm asking you. You are the one help me. You see, it says shape. Is it me who used the word shape, or this is your Allah? Yeah, but it's just image, actually. Okay, his image is different. Is Okay, how Allah created Adam, did he create him in the image? Did Allah use yeah, the word? This, uh, this is also in Genesis, you know? No problem. And Muhammad was copying exactly the book of Genesis. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, it says he created him in the image of God. Yeah. Okay, isn't it, this is exactly what the book of Genesis says? Yeah. Okay, so why you are laughing? I myself, I, I personally, I don't believe in any books other than like Samuel and stuff, but I do believe in... This is not the topic now. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, why Muhammad, he says that Allah, he created Adam in his image. The Muslim, they will say to us, oh no, he meant, he made him in the image of Adam. But this is stupid. This is exactly word by word as it is in the book of Genesis. God created, God created Adam in his image. And then Muhammad, he added, he is 60 foot tall. 
or six to keep it tall. Now, now, okay, now listen. So you said to me, it says image, it doesn't say shape, right? But Allah, He described, and your Prophet described Adam as image too. خلق الله آدم صلى الله عليه وسلم على صورته. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So surah means a shape of a human being. No, it means uh, image. We don't know what this. Okay. Is Adam is a is a is a shape of a human being, or he is just a picture in a book? No problem. It can mean any image. No. Because God says He created no, Adam in no. His image. No. The swear is halk is a creation. This is what Taswir so, means. So your God is a human being? Yeah, my God, he come in the flesh of a human being. Yes, he come to no, us. No, but that was before. Genesis was before Jesus. No, Je no, Genesis is not before Jesus. That's false. What do you mean? Genesis was before Jesus came as okay, a human Okay, okay. When Jesus says before Abraham I am, he meant he before all the prophets. You're, you're, you're the father of the prophet, Abraham. Which one is before? Moses yeah, or Abraham? He was, he was, I'm asking you, which one is before? Which one is before? Moses or Abraham? Yeah, but he was not the... Okay, hold on. So Jesus yeah, says before Abraham I am. So the existence of the flesh of Jesus have nothing to do with the existence of Christ as God. He exists before Abraham. And Abraham not only he witnessed him, he worshiped him. And he rejoiced for his day. Yeah, but when God says he created man in his image uh, and God was a spirit at that time, what does that mean? Does that mean God is a human? No, that's mean that God, he have a plan to Adam to look exactly the same as God he looked like when he come to us. No, this is your interpretation. Well, it's up to you what interpretation you want. Our God is a spirit. Is, is, is your God is a spirit? I do believe that, yeah. But the Muslim don't believe in that. What, what is your, you are, you are a Muslim Sunni? Yeah. But the Sunni don't believe in that, so you have a new sick now. No, there's many Sunnis, there's Sunnis that believe in that. Really? That's new. Okay, look like we are doing yeah, yeah. good. Okay, so as long you believe that Allah have a spirit, so when the verse in the Quran says no, no, no. that Allah, no, 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 Allah He blow, Allah He blow His spirit in Mary, is that Allah's spirit came from inside Allah, go to into Mary? Actually, Jibril blew uh, in Mary. No, nowhere it says Jibril. Can you show me the word Jibril? It's it says in chapter ninety, verse uh, seventeen to nineteen. Yeah. That uh, the spirit came in the form of a human being. Okay. And he said to Mary, uh, I am the messenger of Allah, so he's not Allah, and I will give you a child. Okay, no way it says Jibreel. Does it, does it say Jibreel there? But but in the Quran it says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Where it says? Show me one, in verse, the Quran, in the, says, show me one Quran, verse in the Quran that says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, and I will shave my 20 foot mustache. Okay, wait, let me just skip. I can show you from the Quran, but let me Okay, just show me, the, show me. Yeah. Guys, they will show me from the Quran a verse saying that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Let me get the we'll let me get the scissor. Here we go. I got the scissor ready. Either I will cut your mustache or mine. Huh? Wait, I, get ready. First time. Do you have your mustache with you? Do you hear the scissor? Oh, okay. Everybody will be laughing at you in a second. Let me let me just first go to hadith and I will go to Quran. No, don't go to hadith. You said Quran. Do you go, Muslim? You go. What's wrong with you, Muslims? You understand who is the Holy Spirit? So are you saying that in the whole Quran, nowhere it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? I will go to Hadith then Quran. No, show me the Quran. But why not Hadith? Because the Hadith is not Allah saying. Are you saying Allah, he forgot to tell you that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? No, I'm showing you this Hadith then Quran, then I will show you. Okay, show me the Quran. No, show me. Go ahead. I'm waiting. But I will first I will first go to Hadith, okay? Can you start with the Quran first? Okay, confirm to me no, before I... you go to the Hadith then that nowhere in the Quran it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. Admit. No, I will first go to I will first go to Hadith. No, the Hadith is not important. We we start with the important first. Which one is more important? But both, but I'm gonna do both. No, we cannot go by both because we know what the Hadith is saying. The Muslim they say Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, but how he can be spirit? Is is an angel? Is a, is a spirit? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, Jibreel has a different creation to all other angels. This is not the question. No, he is a spirit or not? Yeah. Okay. 
So how you explain? Oh, wait, so how you explain to? Yeah. So how you explain to me this verse, chapter seventy-eight, verse number thirty-eight? Okay, hold on. Uh, let me just first make it clear the reason why Jibril is called the Holy Spirit. No, uh, answer me. If Jibril is a spirit, how come the Quran says in the day that the spirit and the angels will stand forth in ranks? If if, if Jibril if Jibril is one of the uh, 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 if he's a spirit. Well, we should not say spirit and angels because all of them they are spirit. Okay, let me just explain. Let me just finish, okay? Uh -huh. So you are saying to me, okay, hold on, let's make it simple. You are saying to me, you cannot show me, you have to explain it. No, I will show you. Okay, show me, go ahead. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> the reason why Jibril is called the Holy Spirit is because Jibril is the only angel in Islam, uh, the only being in Islam that delivers the revelations to uh, messengers and prophets of God. Uh -huh. That's why he's called the... He is the delivery guy. Okay, no problem. Still, that will not change anything. He's an angel, isn't it? Is he an angel or not? Hello? What happened? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Is Jibreel an angel yeah. or not? Simple question. Yeah, he's an angel. Okay, so angel, he's an angel. That's it. Don't tell me he's different. Yeah. Like what? He have a he have a turbo engine. Yeah. Hmm. Guys, yes, he's an angel, but he's not an angel. So he's an angel. That's yeah. it. So is the yeah. angels are a spirit? Yes or no? Well, Jibreel is an uh, angel and a spirit. Yeah. So only him is an angel and a spirit, and the rest are not. <laughs> Well, the verse you showed me about the spirit <laughs> and the angels is because uh, okay, my friend. when you say, for example, okay. the sun and the, the okay. sun and the stars, the sun is it, the star. Uh, and no, the no, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Call me tomorrow. We have to, uh, too much for today. And uh, that's enough for today. I'm losing my voice. You see how much they are confused. Each one he believe in his God differently. So this guy he believe Allah is a spirit. The other guy he believe no. This is Islam. And things get so bankrupt to the point they got me someone he is a Jew. I mean, do you see how bankrupt they are? Who believe and he said to me live on air in front of the one who asked him to call me that Muhammad is a false prophet. What do you want more? This is a priceless video. The Jews, he said to me, I did not say Muhammad is a scumbag. Yes, you did. The second you say he's a false prophet, this means he's a liar, scumbag. He fooled people, make them obey him. Women, they take off their panty for him, claiming that Allah ordered him. So you did. Thank you for asking the Orthodox Jew. Very much bankrupt. And the other guy, he don't even know if his God is a spirit or not. One he believe Allah is a spirit, one he believe Allah is not a spirit. Ah, she's kebab hummus. We show you the interpretation? No, we don't want interpretation. We show you what the scholars say? We don't want the scholars. Christian Prince, you are a liar. Don't forget to download the video. As you know, we don't keep my videos for long. So download it, share it with your friends, because uh, we knew that those videos would make them so much angry. And I don't know how many Muslims will leave Islam. You be the judge. You are a Muslim, you are a Christian, you are, I don't care. You be the judge of what they say to us. This is the most stupid city cult. Black stone, forgive your sin, yet they call us pagans. Allah has no spirit, but yet he has a physical body. He has a shape. Even he changed his shape. He's like a jellyfish. How you recognize Allah? By his shin. We say hallelujah, the Muslim they say shinnunuya. God with the shin. How we recognize Allah from his shin? When you hear a Muslim speaking about God, 
and he is one God, you think you are talking about the same as we do. He have no spirit, he's dead. If this God have a body, but he have no spirit, so is he alive? He's a concrete, maybe. Plastic, maybe. Silicon, maybe. But he's not alive, because they agree they have no spirit. You see, the stupid Muhammad, they ask him, do you know what is a spirit? Muhammad, he went to his house and he searched all website in Google. And he come with the answer. And let me show you. Just to show you the stupidity of this cult. <clears throat> chapter 17 verse number 85 people ask Muhammad the same exact question we are questioning right now Allah he gave the answer the genius Allah look at the answer they ask thee concerning the spirit between two bracket the inspiration no it says inspiration you liar why well, you added there say the spirit from the command of Allah, what command? They are asking. They are asking you, what is the spirit? You say to them, from the command of Allah. And by the way, the translation is false. It says, min amri rabbi, something Allah, my Lord, He knew about. Amri rabbi, things belong to Allah. I don't know. And you know no knowledge. You have no knowledge. Well, this is what they are asking you. And look at the first translation. By the command of my Lord, knowledge. You, you don't have knowledge. Change the translator and you will see how suddenly the verse change in a miraculous way. The religion of Shish, Shish Kebab Hummus. Suddenly, here we go, read carefully. They ask you, Muhammad, S-A-W-F-M, stereo station. The Ruh, what is the Ruh? Between two brackets, the Spirit. Say, the Ruh is one of the things of the knowledge which only, O oh my Lord, know. What? Do you see how the translation changed, guys? So Muhammad answered, in, oh, in what Muhammad he explained the Spirit, only Allah knows. Sorry for to tell you, I have bad news. I went to my bedroom for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, and can't come to you to say to you, Allah only know. So how the Muslim they say here, Jibreel? Muhammad, he says, only Allah knows. After squeezing it for 10 hours, 10, 10 days, 20 days in the bathroom, he come with this. Imagine people, they come to me and I claim to be a prophet. Christian prince, okay, you are a prophet. What is the ruh? Which means the spirit. I go, okay, oh God, you know, I am a prophet. Okay, now Allah will inspire me. Okay, Allah, what I will say to them, embarrassing, we should tell them something. We cannot say we don't know. The answer is Allah knows best. That is the answer. And this is the proof that Muhammad is a fraud. He didn't know what to say. So what the answer? Allah only know. What they're asking you, it says even in front of you in the verse, it says, they ask you, what is the spirit? So you come back to them and you say, only Allah knows? And who is saying that? Allah. Isn't it obvious that this is a fraud? You tell me. Don't forget to give a like for our videos and subscribe. And always, if you want to find where we are going to be live next, you go to patreon.com and this is a way to find where we will be because we might change any second, any moment, the place we do live broadcast. As you know, YouTube don't like us. He, they hate us. They are liberals and we are not politically correct and that makes them angry. So be ready and I am ready always. This is why I say if you always want to see where I will be next, you go to Patreon in case this channel is gone or other channel i don't care i have like i have endless number of channels 
more than the endless private part of Muhammad who promised the Muslims longer. Nobody can stop us. We are going to expose this stupid cult. Nobody. And if you see a Jew and you are praying like Muhammad and he say to you, this is how we do it. Don't forget to act differently because brother, we have to act differently. Otherwise, they will know that we are thieves, stealing from the Jews, how they pray. Sit down, sit down, act differently. Who taught the Prophet how to pray? He started quoting me, Musa, you want to talk about Jesus, you want to talk about, I mean, what is missing to talk about Trump or Ivanka Trump? They try their best to change the topic in the speed of light. Who taught Muhammad how to pray? You notice how many times I need to repeat the same stupid question. After repeating the question 25, 6 times, they said to me, so what was your question? You say the question again, and they start from zero, as you said nothing. If Muhammad, he learned his prayer, finally he said from Allah, by mistake, he admitted. If Muhammad learned his prayer from Allah, how he changed it in a second, just because a Jew, he said to him, sit down. This is a very clear evidence that Muhammad is a fraud. If Jesus says to me, pray like this, our father out of heaven, and then a Jewish guy, he walked by and he say, this is how we do it. I will say, change it, change it, act differently. You know what I mean? How horrible. What a fraud. Act differently. He didn't even say what to do. Just act differently. Like, do anything, do anything. Act differently. Don't do that then. He go in panic mood. Oh, we got busted. He just said, this is how we do it. The Jews even did not say anything. He just said, this is how we do it. That's all. But because Muhammad, he have a nail is in his bum. He knew he's guilty. He knew he's a fraud. He knew he's stealing the Jews, copying them. So the second the Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. He starts right away acting differently. And this is what we proved. The fraud Muhammad. I apologize, guys. I wish I can stay longer, but my throat is really being ripped off. I, I have, you know, it's really dry. Hardly I can talk, but we have to finish it and we have to get them busted to the end. I appreciate all those people who come here. They stay with us. They support us. Uh, we love you. We love the Muslims. Even I'm harsh on them, but because we love them, not because we hate them. They make me angry when they sue and they do stupid things. The same when you have a son, he's going to go to hell and you don't know what to do to save him. You do your best and we are doing our best to save them, not because we hate them. Never hate the Muslims. As you see, each one of them, he come with different ideas. He don't, they have no idea what they are talking about. They have a God, yet he have a sheep. They have a God, but he have no spirit. Okay, how is a life? What is inside the body of the sheep? No spirit. Spirit means power of life, you idiot. Your prophet did not dare to answer you. When God, he breathed into Adam, his breath is the power of life. For God is life. He is the source of all life. If Muhammad could not figure that out, a kid can figure it. When the Quran says that Jesus, he breathed into mud and he make it a bird, living bird. Jesus, he have the power of life. From his breath, he gave life. And we knew again where Muhammad, he copied the story, the thief. As usual, a thief will be exposed. No matter what he do, what he say, and what he play. We know it all. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Again, to follow us, to remember where to find us, you go to Patreon and you will find the link where it's going to show you where my coming broadcast will be. Or you can go to uh, 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 Instagram, or you can go to Facebook, which is uh, the, the admins are posting for you from time to time, so you can learn where we will go. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is victorious.
not us. He is our victory. The truth, the Alpha, the Omega, the one who never commits sin, the living God, which even the Muslim believe that he is alive. And yes, he is. And the dead Muhammad, he cannot save you. He could not save himself. Jesus, he overcome death by death to show you that he is the living God. Not only he can resurrect people from death, as the Quran said, even when you kill his flesh, you cannot kill God. Nobody can kill God. The God is always is alive. And he said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between you. And right now he is with us. Each time we mention his name, his name is a glorious, amazing. He is a miracle. Not only he do miracles. He is the miracle. And the word miracle mean beyond comprehend. I wish my English is better to speak better about Jesus, but my English is limited. I wish I can explain him to you better, but my words will not be able to explain. I wish I speak better language because no languages can explain him for he's amazing. The Lord who changed the hearts from evil to decency, from hate to love is a miracle. For making people who believe in hate, loving people is a miracle. And this is the proof that Jesus is exist. For he changed your heart and he changed mine. God bless you. See you soon again. Christ is Lord and Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. Don't forget to download the video when it is ready to be downloaded. We will clean our channel very soon from all the videos. So be sure you have them all. Thank you.